is the crickets from hell. Yeah. Alright, let's get this shit started. Yeah, uh, maybe you should start because, uh, I'm probably gonna end up playing for a large portion of the time. If we do switch off on deaths and such. Mm -hmm. um, plus, if you play the tutorial, then at least we know you know what you're doing. Yeah. I pretty much already do. I do need a bit of a refresher, but All right. I but I can probably figure it out just by watching. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doesn't help that I don't know what the buttons are on the PS3 controller. Fair enough. Attached robotic emission system. Thank you for using help desk. PS2 ratchet. <laughs> I will say he's looking pretty ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. I'm gonna turn off the stair light, because it's glaring a bit from where I am. This is their dumbass origin story. <laughs> Um, one thing I should say is they actually retcon a lot of stuff in the, uh, future trilogy. Oh, yeah? Um... I don't think they were trying to, but they kind of contradicted themselves and unintentionally retconned, like, two things. Um... But we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> it's only, like, two things, but it's, like, two really major things. <laughs> I like how he just conveniently falls off a slide and into a cockpit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, fuck this This is way, way back when uh, Insomniac Games wasn't big. So this was their- this was one of their big breakout games. Yeah. And this is how it starts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cheesy PS2 cutscenes. To be fair, though, it was the PS2, so everything in that era was cheesy PS2 cutscenes. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it looked good at the time. Yeah. It's actually not as bad as I expected, honestly, okay. going right. back to it. Alright, we've got some camera control here. Uh, is it inverted? Yes. You can switch that if you want. This is a problem. Yeah, I'm sure you can switch it if you want. Yeah, this try is, hitting this start. This is really noticeable. Try hitting start. It, the inverted thing? Yeah, uh, I'm sure there's an option for it. There better be. Uh, camera probably? This is, this is not what I would call normal. This is not normal. Are, is the up and down reverse too? Yes. Oh, jeez. This is completely BS and I hate okay. it. <laughs> Just hit exit then. Uh, triangle. Top one. <laughs> Top one. Yeah, I know you don't know the controls. <laughs> we were just talking about that, so. Alright, this is more like it. Okay, yeah. Hopefully it's not too floaty. Uh, I know some of the other ones okay, are a little floaty. I guess I'm chucking bombs. Ah, they start you with the bomb glove? Weird. I was pretty sure they only started you with the ratchet, and then they give you the gun first, I thought, but it's not. Uh, this camera is a little tanky. Yeah. But we, it's not that. Uh, I like how the game gives you a sort of invisible tutorial here, where they give you more than enough time to figure out the controls without any prompts at all. Yeah, that's that's good old-fashioned game design. Yeah, old-fashioned game design. Yeah. Some like, of it's really solid. Like, Some of it not so much. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to be told how to fucking jump. Or yeah, you'll figure it out, or if you don't, then you'll <laughs> fail and stop playing the game. <laughs> Fair enough. You've given me too much power. That was the one power you should not have given me. Uh. I'm curious why these people have so many like guts and bolts stuff up their ass. Um, well, because it's the currency of this game and they had to give it to you somehow. R1, hold R1 and press square. Hold R1 and press square. Just. Ah, that's the, that's the throw. Just Captain America's that shit. Yes! Yeah. 
So, uh, just a heads up, uh, I don't know if I said hello and welcome. I probably did. I think I gave a weird-ass intro that had nothing to do with what we were actually doing. Um, so, official intro here. Um, and it's healing items. But they're explaining the lore of it to you as well. I mean, I'm fine with lore. Well, yeah. Cool, man. I mean, it's it's neat that they actually explain healing. Also, I'm like the world's biggest dirtler in video game history. Oh no, this is gonna be a nightmare playing. Yes, it you. is. Uh, you were the one who suggested this. Honestly, though, I don't I don't think it's I, I don't take this as a challenge, first of all, but I don't think it's possible to be worse than Justin. Justin is the most infuriating person to watch play games. <laughs> I'm curious he, now. He dirtles just like you, but also, like, to an extreme extent. Um, and also he insists upon looking for everything. Okay, I thought that was a... <laughs> I didn't know there was Does no question. Does that count as a death? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get you to the beginning part, then? I can get through the fucking tutorial. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if you wanted to switch off on deaths or not. Once we get out of the tutorial... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll that's, that's fair enough. I, th I think that was a cheap shit. Yeah. I think that you just kind of slid off. <laughs> no, I, I totally thought there was a platform, like, after I jumped off. No. But there wasn't, and I died. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, I've played all the Ratchet and Clank games. Jacob has played none of them. I have also played, like, nothing on the PS3. That too. He's also not a big PlayStation guy in general. Yeah, this is the reason why I got, like, three quarters of the crew killed on the point to go yeah, because that game is all about understanding your controller. Yeah, it's all like quick time events, which is easy for someone who knows the controls. <laughs> to be fair, I got Chris killed, who's like my favorite character, because okay, that quick time that event was... is actually really fucking hard. Yeah, that, that, that quick time event was a fucking cheap shot. That was hard as hell. It wasn't hard, it was just a, it was just cheap. You, it has, it's so quick, and you have to think, not only hit the button, yeah, you have to you, actually make a decision. They give you a fucking fake out, and... You yeah. Have one second to make your decision. Yeah. No, that one's that one's deliberately the hardest part of the game, and it's kind of frustrating. Okay. It, it 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 is a little bit of a cheap shot. You kind of have to know it's coming to deal with it. Which I think is kind of yes, but whatever. Um, I guess I kind of agree with you. But a lot of the shit, a lot of the deaths in those games. Uses stuff that you're going to be at a massive disadvantage if you don't know it's coming. Right, exactly. So you kind of have to be on guard at all times. So I think it's kind of the point. But, but it's especially bad in that one. Yeah. It was especially bad for the Yeah. Bombs away, motherfucker. Did it tell you to press circle to fire? Yes. We might have to change that. <laughs> okay. For my sake. Circle should not be fire. I'm assuming they changed it. They, I'm pretty sure they did. They changed it later in the game. In the in the later games, it's uh, R1. Which Get back here, is also kind of bullshit. But, uh, it should be R2, but there's no setting for R2. But at least R1 is kind of like a trigger. <laughs> The fact that you can't turn on a dime in this game is going to be very noticeable. It's going to be the death of you. <laughs> what it's going to be. It might. It also just might be really infuriating throughout the whole game. We'll see what happens. I think they want you to use the. Yeah, there you go. It's yes. a good way to deal with ranged guys like that. But what if I need that ammo for loot? Eh, yeah, this game doesn't have a big deal with ammo conservation. There's ammo right there, actually. Uh, the G crates, if you see them on the right. Nice ammo. Three bomb work. Yep. Do they track, like, all ammo separately? So yes. when we get 17 guns, it's going to be the most annoying shit? It actually isn't as annoying as you think. Because, yes, that is what happens. But, they give you so many guns, and they're all so weird, you kind of want to use them all anyway. Alright. So, it just encourages you to repeatedly switch between weapons. But none of them are... Okay, well that's not entirely true. Most of them are not so niche that you want to switch to them deliberately. Mm -hmm. Except for like two. The majority of them are not so niche that you want to, slip to switch to them deliberately. 
your one hand will do damage. And they give you enough ammo that you don't really have to worry about it, except in boss fights. Okay. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. He's trying to save the solar system stuff anyway. <laughs> ah yes, the first little hint of this game's comedy. I hate the early Ratchet voice actor, I'm sorry. <laughs> he gets so much better, but goddamn. Admittedly, it does fit his personality better, though. Admittedly, this voice actor does fit his personality pretty well, though. <laughs> At least in the early games. Chairman Drax flagship, Velden Orbit. I like how they have just like one frame of you just standing by your <laughs> ship before yeah, that, transitioning to another cutscene. Yeah, it, you know what it is? It's because this is a PS2 game re-released for PS3. Oh, mm -hmm. So it has some bugs like that, mostly visual. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny more than anything. That's kind of dark. This whole game is kind of dark, to be honest. That That's part of the appeal of the Ratchet and Clank's- Oh my god! And then they all <laughs> die at the end. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot about that! Yeah, that's right. He basically crashes a ship in every game. <laughs> Up until the future series, where he finally gets to keep them. <laughs> it just <laughs> turned to dust! It's like, Nothing left of it! I'm sorry, I don't even know what I was saying before. <laughs> that really threw me off. Oh my god. Um. It was just so, so out of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Oh, I remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, part of the appeal of the Ratchet and Clank series is the fact that despite looking like a kid's game with this cute cartoon character, it has some really dark humor. <laughs>
so it's basically like Conker's bad fur game. A little bit, yeah. It's it's not quite as dark. It's not quite as dirty as that. I mean, uh, most yeah. of its humor is more subtle Pixar style humor, but uh, I understand. But it can get dark at times too. I mean, Pixar game is pretty dark. Oh yeah. The um, Tools of Destruction, the first game in the Future series, I think it was. Uh, they put it on the box. One of the reviews, uh, they quoted, you know how they quote reviews on box sometimes? They, the review they quoted on the box said, it's the closest you'll ever get to playing a Pixar movie. <laughs> because that basically is what it is. There you go. I'm not sure where I'm going, but I'm getting there. I don't remember. Uh, I remember the first couple worlds being, uh... Really like where do I go? Um, I think the game doesn't really know what they're doing quite yet either. So yeah, I'm okay. I get that. Yeah, I'm okay just rolling. With it. Yeah, that is true. Um, I I, don't, I hesitate to say anything bad about this game because in general I think it's kind of a gem and kind of a uh, a good old game. But it has its flaws, and I think one of those is that the early level design is a little dull at first. <laughs> I guess, before you get, like, movement options and stuff. So yeah, exactly. You kind of have It has to be catered to people like you, if you know what I mean. Who don't know what they're doing yet. Yeah, like... Well, because like you, you kind of got to assume that your players are not idiots, but they know... But they don't know what they're doing yet. <laughs> I mean... For a lot of people, this is probably their first video game ever. It could be, and yeah, this, especially in this generation. This game probably, this game like needs to be aware of that. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I think when designing early levels and tutorials as a developer, um, I totally would. What's that? Oh, yeah, that healing thing. When designing early levels and tutorials as a developer, I think you walk a fine line where you have to account for the fact that. For some people, it might be the first game they've ever played, mm -hmm. and they need to be told everything. And for some people, they might have played, like, games their whole life, and be really annoyed if you try to tell them everything. I mean, yeah. And I think that's where a lot of old-style uh, game design comes into play and is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Like, how we were talking about how the game teaches you how to play it without telling you. Yeah, it gives you enough time. Oh, there's a dude who's going to attack you. I should probably try to find some way to hurt him. Yeah. Like, I just found out how to use bombs in my mm -hmm. events without anybody to prompt them. Yeah. No, not enough new games do that, personally. Like, it doesn't... It feels like the game isn't confident enough to give you that space to do Yeah. Anything. With a lot of new games, yeah. I mean, maybe there Some might... games do require comprehensive tutorials, like fighting games, for instance. Yeah, fighting games. Like, Bayonetta, for example, I'm like, oh my god. If I didn't, if I wasn't prompted on how to play the game, I probably would have, like, indicated it. Yeah. Glover even kind of requires a little of a tutorial. I was trying to think of an older game that does. The God Hand, essentially. God Hand? Oh, oh, I think I've seen that. Um, I haven't played it myself, though. That's got some fighting elements, yeah. right? It's mostly a fighting it, style. It, it is a fighting. Yeah, but it's not like a, a classic 2D fighting game, it's like a... Yeah, it's a, it's a 3D fighting game. Yeah. I will say, I might be a little biased, because Bayonetta was the first game like, Oh yeah, I've been playing video games <laughs> for like 15 years of my life. I'm gonna start the game on hard mode. Oh god. And, well, let's just say that I didn't renege on my decision to play through the game on hard mode. But you probably felt some pain for it. <laughs> but I basically couldn't beat any boss on the first try. Oh my god. That, yeah, that must have been intense. It was a very intense experience. What was I playing earlier that I... I probably, if I had the chance, would have started on normal other ones. Yeah. If I had the opportunity. Um, I, I hate to call myself a casual, but I do tend to play on easier difficulties, most games. Mm -hmm. um, if they give me the option. I still enjoy hard games like Dark Souls, but... But most games I... Oh, <laughs> Classic ratchet. How 
Has this ever happened to you? I am Captain and believe me, there's nothing worse than storing up large snagglebees from the inside and knowing you were put in the country properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to an ass mouth. If Al can't fix it, it's not a problem. Right, Al? You Excuse me. Ad. Okay. Okay, so it's a mini map. Yeah. Good. I like how, you... unlike everything else in the game, this mini map is super snappy to control. Find really? Okay. I wouldn't have expected that. Find a new ship, explore the water. Those are the missions for this planet. You don't necessarily need to do them now, because you can come back to planets in this game. Okay. Um, in fact, a lot of the times you're required to, but uh, we'll see. Um, you'll see what I mean. Um, so I'm basically back where I started. Yes, because they put the ship back at the uh, place where you walked in originally. Uh, so it gives, just gave you a shortcut back to the start of the level. Um. I've, I've been playing uh, Final Fantasy VII, as you know, the remake, yeah. not the original. Um, I've been having a really interesting experience with that. Mm -hmm. um, but it made me think of it when you were talking about uh, not being able to beat. Fuck up. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> when you were talking about not being able to beat bosses on the first try, it made me think of that, because I've been having a lot of difficulty with that game, actually. And I'm only playing on, like, the normal difficulty, but it's actually pretty difficult. Oh, really? Yeah. I, it's partly because I'm an idiot, but... <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> not gonna argue, but not gonna agree either. <laughs> Fair enough. Look, you're my friend. I'm not just going to straight up burn you to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Alright. So... I mean, I'll, I'll admit that that... Novalis... You're going to Metropolis on Kerwin. Okay. Oh, um, so there's, like, multiple areas you can go to on the same planet? No, this is in the two different areas. They look very similar. Metropolis, Kerwin? Kerwin. Kerwin is the planet. Uh, Navalis is the planet. Tolbrook, Crater, and Metropolis are the locations. So are, they, are there going to be more than one location on the I same planet? I don't like think so. Kerwin, uh, Australia, or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I'm probably oh overthinking. We're going. You are, but also I don't actually remember, so you you might uh, you might not be crazy. I don't know. It just seems like unnecessary information. Like, oh. Yeah, it's telling you like what the purpose of the location is. Mm -hmm. But admittedly, it doesn't need to be said to distinguish the two. Oh look, it's the blue. and look, there's suddenly life everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, very industrial plant that be. This is like the... Unless there's industry everywhere, this place isn't going to look great from the top down. There might be. This is kind of your uh, your obligatory city planet, you know? Like Ravnica or something? Or uh, maybe... Um, what, what's the what's the planet that has the council from Star Wars? I didn't watch Star Wars. The prequels, I should say. I didn't watch the prequels. You didn't actually- wait, you didn't watch Star- what are you- <laughs> I watched Revenge of the Sith and half of Return of the Jedi. I think I watched the prequels when I was like eight. Fair enough. I don't remember anything from it. Really? Huh. I didn't watch ball. Okay. Bitch. <laughs> How much cash do I have? 
Uh, top right, uh, the bolts. 2844. You know what? This is available, we're gonna buy it. It's a good way to go through this game, to be honest. You now have a flamethrower. <laughs> At least I think that's what that is. Beep beep, motherfucker. <laughs> I like how it was in the cutscene! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is clearly part of the uh, history of video games where very few things were rendered in like cutscene models. Yeah, I guess so. You know, they just use the same models for gameplay and cutscenes. Which is why all of these cutscenes look like they were made in, like, TF2 generation. <laughs> That's accurate, yeah. There's uh, probably a proper name for that, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to... I think I think the things they're thinking of are actually made in Gary's mod. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, G mod. Yeah, but there might also be a, a specifically Team Fortress animated thing. I don't actually know. I'm gonna hit it. It'll, I mean, it'll hit you. <laughs> it'll hit you back. Oh, um, and also look, this is. I, I they didn't need to prompt me to figure. Yeah, out you just how see two jump. vertical walls and you go, yes, this is what you do. I have played big video games. Before. <laughs> the video games. However, I'm pretty confident that if you hadn't played any video games before, no idea. Yeah, you might have had to take a second to figure that you out. You have to like, look up a guy or something. Did you just jump against the walls? There was no special input? I pressed the control stick against the wall, but I don't know if that was good. Well, <laughs> good to know. I'm partly asking also because, you know, I, I'm going to have to do this at some point, mm -hmm. probably. <laughs> You know, I think early on it's possible that there aren't going to be a lot of deaths. Yes. So I think to keep things dynamic, we should also swap out when a level is Fair enough. There aren't, like, clearly defined levels in this, but probably every time we switch planets. Yeah. These it doesn't sound like you need to hold against the wall because they probably would have told you that if you did. Yeah. Oof. Tank control strike again. <laughs> I'm just like, no. Push the character up against the wall. No. Classic uh, PS2 era. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, actually. I pressed the control stick to the left, but the yeah. character wasn't done turning to the left, so they turned oh, into the wall. Oh, yeah, okay, I follow you. You know, for the sake of the, like, graphical quality of the animations, that actually is better, but for the sake of gameplay, it certainly is not. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a balance that could be struck. Yeah, I think um, Uncharted did it pretty well. They didn't have a zero point turning radius in Uncharted. Oh wait, maybe they did. I think they did, because I think Nathan made a joke about it. Because he managed to... No, I was... I, I, I know that I was skating, you know. That thing. Where you kind of just slide forward. Mm -hmm. I don't know what... I, I, I'm trying to think of the... Uh, what do you call them? Terminology. Yeah. And the, the, the particular gameplay design quirks of a specific game. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think you started a little late last time. Oh, shit. Well, at least there's a floor for this one. Yeah. Next time, there probably will. And you know that there isn't fall damage as long as you don't fall off. Goddamn. Oh. Need to be, like, really early with this. Yeah, you gotta go on it when it's still coming out. That's the thing. Uh, 
that's your sort of now I'm literally a tank. Yes, can you walk around while doing this? Can you walk around? No. That's a shame. I know in the later games you can uh, aim down the sights, kind of. Not like that, but kind of. Yeah, you can use that. Uh, I know there's a sniper rifle you can get um, at some point. It's not a great weapon anyway, but you can use that to do that, technically. I mean, I'm sure there's something you can do with a sniper rifle. So. I mean, it deals a lot of damage. Oh. How do you have we saggy kits when happen. you're a robot? She was clearly built with saggy kits. <sighs> Which does act, raise a lot of weird questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> certainly does. I didn't hear any of that. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, like not fair. Oof. You apparently need a thousand bolts. Lucky you're already halfway there and uh, there's crates around the area. I fucking hate when games make you pay to progress the game. <laughs> like this? What if I actually wanted to buy that flamethrower? Which you did. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't have bought it otherwise. Yeah. I If I remembered that, I would have told you. Sorry. I mean... That's a little bit on me. <laughs> I mean, not really. When was the last time you played this game? Like eight years ago or something. Well, then it's not on me. Yeah. I mean, I was replaying Xenoblade Chronicles recently, and I remember a lot of shit that I wouldn't have known. I do remember this. That taxi will bring you back to the start of the course, and you can farm by doing that. Okay. I think that's what the game intends you to do. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying about Xenoblade? Uh, I was replaying Xenoblade Chronicles and I was noticing a lot of stuff that I didn't remember in uh, Forza. Mm. Shit, is there really not... Do they not respawn the items here? Well, this blows. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Uh, go talk to uh, Quirk Robot at the bottom, maybe. He doesn't. He doesn't give a shit. It's just a robot on a. Sp it's just a spike speaker on a string, basically. Spring. I I really don't. Care. That's useful information, actually, because we are looking for Captain Quark. Yeah. But, at this particular moment, that doesn't help our situation. Um, maybe, uh... Restart the level? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, if you... Go to, uh... Do you want me to do it? I'll just make it faster. Alright. You've already played through this part, it's not gonna help. Alright. It's not gonna help you learn the controls at all. Oh wait, there's actually some crates over here. Hang on. Maybe I can get something out of this. That was quite a few, actually, but still not enough. Let's give it a second. I mean, I paid up the money at the start of the level, so hopefully they have a nice bolt. Oh, there's actually enemies over here. Okay, you can quickly center by tapping L1. That is actually information you might want to know. I'll just beat up this guy over here. So I'm hoping that there's, not, there's at least a thousand bolts in this level. There is. I just, uh, was just hoping we didn't have to find them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're almost there anyway. So. I wish the range at which you pick up bolts would be larger. Yeah. That's a classic original game issue. Also, I noticed that you start off your guns with only 
after Master of Yeah, that's a weird choice, but I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It makes some semblance of sense, but there's no reason to uh, not just let you start with all of it. Yeah, I'm sure there's there must be some sort of reason why they do it. Okay, we got enough bolts. We can uh, fight the helicopter fine. later. <laughs> Like how the game is leading us down this path that it's like increasingly tough enemies. Oh, there's a helicopter now, and I'm just like, nah. <laughs> Don't feel like fighting it. But What's the no. weapon button? Oh, there it is. I don't even we seriously know. don't even have a regular ass blaster? That's a shame. I don't even know which button the weapon is. Uh, triangle. Okay. It's the same as the other games, that's why I figured it out so quick. Alright, let's... Uh, I don't think there's a way to quickly get back to the end, so I'll just... Uh, I mean, this will just be your geez. tutorial, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, jeez. I gotta say, the jumping controls are not as solid as I remember them being. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you saw me doing it, like, that. Eh, what maybe. The double jump does not cause you to ascend at all. That's steak. It doesn't cause you to ascend at all, it just suspends you for a second. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> That's very frustrating. Mm -hmm. What you eating? Jelly beans. Cool. Alright, bitch. Give me my shit. He's gonna be left with 94 gold spat left, but hey. I couldn't even take that. I failed. It should auto lock as long as you um uh, as long as you can see it. Just try jumping off the edge and hitting a uh, circle, whatever the fire button is. Yeah, there you go. Same. Whoa, what was it? I don't know. I think that was a graphical bug. I think it tried to grapple onto the next grapple point. <laughs> That does make sense. That does make sense because there are certain areas where you can chain grapple things. Can I grapple onto this? No, I think you can just use the wrench on that. Yeah, there you go. We had one of those before. This just brings you back to the start, though. Simple enough. Yeah. So now that other direction that I went to get some bolts, I think, is where you're supposed to go. Makes sense. Hit! I don't know. I, I'm really liking this sort of like. What's the like? I don't know. Dystopian if you're capitalists. Yeah, I was. A, I was literally just about to say this game has some like biting commentary on capitalism too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's actually what it is. It's like a. It's dystopian capitalist society. I saw some reviews for the Ratchet and Clank remake, and they basically took that out. That's a shame. I know that which they also made Ratchet less of a dick, which, which kind of ruined him. <laughs> and by, like, removing the dystopian capitalist elements in the remake of the game, that's kind of, like, unintentionally making a point that I don't think they were intending on. Yeah. That's fair. That's a fair assessment. I know I might be overthinking. No, no, you're right, you're right. But it totally, that's what it was. They, they neutered it, and it was a deliberate choice to do that. Yeah. Whether they... They may have done it specifically because they wanted to avoid having a message. Mm -hmm. But by doing, by extension, they deliberately neutered the game. Yeah. And that is very obvious and very clear, and it makes you realize that they do have a stance on this to some extent. Or at least they had a stance. Yeah, yeah, they... Their stance right now is being weenies. <laughs> Their stance right now is making money. Yeah, that's fair. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> that dude didn't even do anything to you. <laughs> yeah, but he was going to. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right, though. Although he actually also might have just been a dude who runs away but gives you free money if you beat him up. I don't actually know. 
I know that some old games used to do that, you know? Put in a dude who would run away, but if you could catch him in time, then you get mine. Yeah, I know. Also, I'm totally getting... Uh, try using the jump attack. Just jump and then attack on this guy. It does a lot of damage, and, um... It's also a good way to evade rockets and then get a hit in afterwards. Because it sort of, like, suspends you in the air. Yeah. I, I use that a lot when I play. Yeah. Oh no. Upgrade. Since he's a fucking thing you have to buy. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna make you buy more shit. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck this game's beginning. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's just That's to force it. you... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think it's just to force you to, uh... to play the game more, you know? Force me to farm. Yeah. To fight shit so that you have money. The funny thing is you would have plenty if you didn't buy that thing. But they fucking put a, a yeah. buying thing right at the beginning of the level. Yeah, Why would you do that? It's a fucking cheap trap. Yeah. Oh, hey, a helicopter. We still haven't killed. They, like, totally swerved. <laughs> they did. Hey, maybe that was partially a, uh, you can't sell anything. I can buy blasters. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, there is a, no a normal blaster. Just don't, because <laughs> even if you could, we need the money. Can I buy, like, healing? No. So do I just play until I die? I think, um, I think if you leave and come back, you might get your health back, or you, there's stuff lying around sometimes that yeah, you can get. Well, if you respawn everything in a level, then you'll, uh, yeah. I, I, I guess this is exactly the thing that ingrained in you that you should, uh, hit every box you see at all times. Yeah. Um, which Let's is a thing that I carried with me throughout the entire series. Let's see if I just enter the ship and then... Do I just respawn my health? I probably, but I don't actually know. Regardless, I can probably take down the helicopter. Let's hope the area respawns at least, so we get the ability to hit crates again. And get more money. Turn to the right. Okay. Fucking hell. The enemies do, though. So that's that's something. Alright. I think. Well, I'm still going to die. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, if you do, then I can take over and do a bunch of farming. The Only the enemies respond, so you have to... And I don't even know if they did, to be honest. They, they did. <laughs> well, There's still a helicopter, though. You gotta blow up the helicopter. No, I don't. Well, you don't, but it'll get you money. I'm just going to respawn everything and then blow up the helicopter. Go to, um, go to the previous planet and kill everything there. Alright. Um... We're gonna have to go through two loading screens either way, but if you do that, then you can get more money in the long run. Alright, well, this game can chug a fat show <laughs> for the making me do this. <laughs> I can't believe they did this right at the beginning of their game. Like, what a bunch of bitches. <laughs> oh. See, this is the exact type of thing, this is why I need to play the games before uh, bringing them to you. <laughs> because I should have been able to tell you that that would happen. <laughs> like, yeah, maybe don't buy anything. I'm pretty sure when I played the game, I did the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the original time. Because why would you not? Yeah, obviously. It's presented to you, like, here's your thing that you do. Like, oh, you earned just enough, like, money in order to buy this new gun. <laughs> and then fuck you. Just like, oh, nope, ha <laughs> ha, you fell into my trap, you <laughs> fucking imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
kind of true. You, you fool. I would you love, absolute buffoon. I would love to refute this, but I don't have an argument. <laughs> it's, it's just exactly what happened. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of crates. Those are where you're really going to get money. Because those explode with tons of money. Plus there's six of them on the right, and there's also a bunch behind you. Yeah, I can't just quick skill people. No. <laughs> and take out my anger on all these mechanical birds. <laughs> they make the dumbest noise when they die! <laughs> it's like you're punching them in the stomach, causing them to burp. Uh. <laughs> Those birds are having a real bad time. I'm going to grapple your head off. <laughs> I don't think you can. I'm not sure why I want to use the pyrocynical. Um. The <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't. <laughs> um. Probably just best stop having. I'm not sure this Oh, it's the Discord sound. Oh. That's what that sound is. Nathan's trying to get on the on the I mean, he's welcome to come over if he's allowed to leave his house. But he can't. Because yeah. he's under house arrest. I actually saw him today buying the Jimmy Beans. <laughs> Which nice. is, like, the most ironic shit ever. I know. Like, you oh, don't have to tell me twice. I can go hang out with him, chat him the fuck up while he's working the eyes. Yeah, in a but, public fucking yeah, store. In, in, a, in, in a stop and shop. Place. Yeah. But when I go to his house, like, oh no, you can't have your friends over here. Only one friend at the house per <laughs> at any given time. Yeah, he should say that he's friends with uh, all the people at his work. So that he can't go to work. Because then he'd have more than one friend. I wonder if you can swim. No. You probably can. I'm fairly certain you cannot. This is one of those games where, like, the main character has to be drowned. Probably. I, it probably is. I can't say for absolute certain, because it's been a while since I played the game. You're but probably I'm, right. Though. Just looking at the way the map is designed, I don't think you can swim. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get that. It's very problem. clearly put there to stop you from going that direction. Right, you have enough, by the way. We've got enough. Let's, let's blow this joint. And then let's <laughs> get out of here. I don't think you blow on a joint. No, not really. But the <laughs> joke makes more sense. <laughs> what, did that, what is that saying even fucking mean? I don't know. It probably don't want to burn it up. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of fucking birds over there. Yeah. Alright. Imagine if falling in the water made you lose money. How hilariously bad that would be. No, it's only two inches deep. No, I'm pretty sure that one won't kill you. You know what? We're going to find out. Okay. Yeah, that one's fine. This looks like something I'm going to have to go back to. I'm guessing it is, but, I mean, hey, if you can do it now, then why not? That's kind of cool. Fortunately, my platforming skills may not be up to par. I thought you, uh, used to play a lot of platformers. I do. Just not this one. Fair enough. Like, you've seen my skills in Super Mario. Right? Yeah, two, play two, two D platformers. But, how do you platformers on a little more than SDR? Really? <laughs> I mean, you're still doing pretty fine altogether. Yeah. Considering that this game does not control particularly well. Hey, you can actually get through this area, apparently. So long. So long, Game Bowser! So 
Yeah. Well, you got your health all now. That's good. Alright. Looks there, like there's... Is there anything to do here? That looks like something. Right. Yeah, there you go. There definitely is a reason why this place exists. I just don't remember what it is. Secretly, like, the way to the last level of the game. <laughs> Super Metroid style. Is that a thing? Yeah, like, in, the, in one of the first areas of the game, there's, like, a gate that leads to the very last level of the game, but you need to get all of the keys first. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not that, but... In, in order to do that, you need to play through the rest of the game. Ah, so you can't actually go to the end of the game. It looks like this is a dead end here. Looks like this is something you are going to have to come back to. Well, you got further than I expected, though. Yeah. I was expecting the first obstacle to stop you. But no, the game gives you quite a bit of stuff to move through before saying, yeah. nope, you gotta come back here. It gives you enough, like, just enough to get you intrigued. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you'll remember it for sure. <laughs> Watching you grab too. every ledge is kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't even intend for that. Alright, let's go get that shit. Nice. We can actually progress the game now. Hooray Hopefully we don't have to deal with that again. Hooray for artificial planning. <sighs> That's kind of a, a, a really bad design. Um, oh, not just for the obvious reasons, but also because now we're really discouraged from buying any weapons. Yeah. Like, even if they don't do this shit ever again, which I'm skeptical about, if we're going to be mentally prepared for them to pull this shit. Again. Yeah, like keeping a buffer of like 2,000 bolts just in case. Yeah. Like, what the hell is that? That is pretty douchey. I think that taxi skips you to the end. Okay. Um, unless you want to fight these guys just for. Bagels and shits, and maybe some bolts. I like you just... They, instead of straight up charging Ratchet, the dogs just come to a screeching halt like before him. <laughs> and just and let you give him, him. And give the player like a good second to beat him up. Yeah, those dogs are kind of dipshits. But, I mean, early game enemies. Gotta give the player some time. What is Ratchet? Uh... A... Venus. <laughs> So, they're called Lombaxes, right? That's the that's the canon name for what Ratchet is. Um, I did, I did three well. So what are they a combat a combination of? Lion, obviously, that's the L part of Lombax. Because... Wombat? Wombat, maybe? And then Fox, maybe? I guess. Wombat... Lion, Lion Wombat, Fox. Lion, Wombat, Fox. What is a Wombat? Does he look like- does a wombat look like that at all? I don't know what a wombat looks like. That's the same with me. I've always, like, wondered, but never enough to stop being lazy and actually Google it. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You don't have the controller right now. Go up and look up what a wombat looks like. I got it right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fuck you, man. You know what? I'm going to assassinate. Jaren just keeps suggesting things for them to play together and have it keep turning it down. Like Mario. So it's basically just Mario's movement options. Yeah, it's actually pretty similar. Okay. See, now the game opens up and stops feeling like shit a little bit. Okay. That's, that was like the thing you needed. I think you have to be over it. Alright, I'm going to assume I'm going to take the leap of faith. You double jump, but then hold the X instead of letting it go, basically. So, 
X and then a cold X. Yes. Alright, here we go. Why they won't let you do this over any engineer? Also, he just shot his teeth. <laughs> I know for a fact in the later game you can uh, do it over open air, like just by jumping into place. It makes me wonder if they have like a sort of um, tracker. Uh, yeah, to check how close you are to the ground. Yeah. Before they let you do this. Yeah. What? You need two grenades to do? Oh yeah, that's right, I was trying to Google Wombat. I got distracted because I had text. Wombat! <laughs> Stupid Robo Dogs. Um, hang on, can you turn Ratchet towards the camera? No. I, they I keep don't. respawning. I don't see it. I, I, I don't see it, personally. That's a Wombat. Yeah, maybe not. I want to know what the Omba part of the Lombax is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Lion and Fox. And Wombat would be the only thing that makes any sense. But he doesn't look like a Wombat at all. No, he really doesn't. I'm pretty sure that's what's intended, though. What other animal has an Omba sound in it? its name? Mm hmm. Don't look at me. <laughs> the mystery shall continue, because I'm not going to Google what Ratchet is. A bitch. <laughs> Agreed. He is, over, uh, he is actually a serious asshole in the first couple games. What the hell? What did I blow up? Oh, those are mines. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's what that guy does. He puts mines down. Probably. Or maybe it's just mines that existed in the first place. They do look like they were deliberately put there, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I don't think the AI would be... The AI would probably be pretty complicated to put them. Especially for just a generic game. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Someone I follow on Twitter just posted their top five games, and number three is Ratchet and Clank. Funny, because that's what we're doing. How fortunate. <laughs> I think I'm getting the name of this. <laughs> oh yeah, eventually these games get hard. I don't know if it's oh. Well, apparently I can't can touch them. Interesting. It's good to know. I mean, I'll remember this. Oh, that wall of boxes just gives me chills. Just yes, please, more boxes. Oh, clever! I should have been. Like maybe in the other direction. I wonder if there's any like major collectibles. In I doubt it. I don't think there are any major collectibles in this game. There's some ammo, some not, more bolts. It's not like a collective game. No. It's more of a platformer that also decided to be a shooter for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> because reasons. That also has sort of that 3D Metroid kind of world design. A little bit. Just a tiny bit. In the sense that there's backtracking and it's dependent on items you get. And, uh... A little bit. Metroid thing, yeah. Yeah. And that there's, like, several different planets. Cause that, that's a thing in Metroid, right? Um... Going no. to different planets? The 3D ones, specifically. Not really. Really? In the 3D ones, only Prime 3 had you warping between different planets. 
In the first okay. two, you just all the games were self-contained on one. But I do understand. What you're doing. I never played them personally. Um, you should. It's a very great trilogy. But uh, it seems like that's the type of design they would go with. Oh God damn it! This shit. Your eyes rain. <laughs> Just point blank bomb him. Bomb, he falls on his ass. Get off my stage. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank for Smash. <laughs> I actually would not mind seeing Ratchet and Clank at Smash. I hadn't even thought of it until now, but but that would be cool. Um, Actually, I think they were in PlayStation All Stars, weren't they? Yeah, I don't think yeah. they would. Play. That's a shame. I don't think Ratchet and Clank ever came out for Nintendo systems. Yeah, but there's a lot of games now that never came out for Nintendo systems. Yeah, but it's like the super popular shit, like Cloud. I mean, Ratchet and Clank is a pretty major part of gaming history. This is true. I mean, they have like twelve fucking games. <laughs> No, he definitely did just shit those little bitches out. Yeah. That's a thing he does. You can't take that shit out of context. I, I wouldn't expect you to. Shit those with the gap. Okay. Shit them little bitches out. Get over Off you. I just acquired my plot buffer of fucking bolts. Good. Your 2,000 bolts all at once. Mm -hmm. That's good. This is what the game wants us to play like, so I guess I have to avoid. Until we know for certain it won't do that. I'm pretty sure the later games don't do it, but... It doesn't yeah. surprise me at all if it comes to... <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to yeah, that's the kind of help he's getting. I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drenton. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Warwick. Look, Lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's think about it ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the Lieutenant to tell us where Drenton is. Now you're talking. Oh yeah, did you hear that Last of Us 2 officially has a lower rating than E.T. for the Atari? Yeah. <laughs> or at least it did at one point. I think I posted the meme about Sonic Sonic 06 having a higher rating at this point. Yeah, I think it was featured, the one that I'm thinking of, that says, uh, that yeah. shows the Atari one. Right. I think I'm back to the beginning of the level. Yes, this does look like that area. So... Did you not get anything of of importance. No, you got an info bot, so you probably have a new planet you can go to. There's an area to the right there, but I don't know if you can get to it. It's not too far away if you want to go check it out. Yeah, it's worth checking out. Yeah, if you go straight and then left and then right. No, I don't think it's up there. Double check. Yeah, it's it's. No, I'm going the yeah, it's straight down through this area. No, no, other way. <laughs> I need to check where my head is. This way. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be accessible, but, you know, we'll see what we get there. Uh, I know they have the nerve to, like, throw dogs at us, but then have them whine when they hit them. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you want me to hit these things or not? Make up your mind. <laughs> it would be to your right, if there was a way. Ah, see, I bet you're... You, how did you do that jetpack boost? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm testing my abilities. Clever, clever. A little bit in there. Yeah. Probably just more bolts. Just a game room. Not <laughs> just, even that many. Just, just to piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Exploring? We'll show you! <laughs> <laughs> just, 
<laughs> Start kicking you while you're down. <laughs> yeah, like, that'll teach him. <laughs> that'll teach you to explore. <laughs> no, it looks like it's just a few bolts. It's not even a lot. Yeah, like, alright. I mean, I, I'll take it. <laughs> alright, I'm off. <laughs> Uh, this game, the second time it makes you buy to buy something uh, to progress, that meme from Spongebob, I thought we already taught you this lesson, old man, <laughs> whatever he says, he, whatever it is he says. Yep. How many <laughs> times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> uh, see, now we've got 3,000 volts and no reason to spend them. Exactly. We could buy a blaster, but then it would leave us caught with our pants down. Exactly. Yeah. They make us buy shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, we okay. have we have uh, Eudora now. All right, so it looks like it's your time. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah cause because we're doing we're planets now. Off planets and we're doing planets. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because otherwise, it would just be me playing for a while, since this is the tutorial. Yeah. Meanwhile, aboard Executive Chairman Drex flagship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was his ass instead of his hands. <laughs> <laughs> he was just wearing ass and straps. What? He's just blatantly the most douchey character ever. I mean, yeah. He's just what's the point. Just fuck you, that's why. Also, I look I like how his shit just took a double take right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the star background didn't change. You know, this place looks kinda of the same again. Man, they're reusing assets already. I don't even think they are reusing assets. I think they're just all their assets look the same. It's just I don't know which is worse. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Laziness or incompetence? Oh. <laughs> I think we actually should buy a regular at Nope. We need to leave a thousand gold. Or a thousand credits or a thousand bolts. We have almost a thousand credits over well, the. What if we don't? We then I'll deal with it. I'll I'll get fifty two bolts if it really bothers you that much. I just want a regular ass blaster because it's just the most convenient thing to use. How do I? Oh shit! What? What did I just do? My sources tell me that you're very good at sucking weed. Didn't I already watch this? Yes. Okay, then I can leave this. Play Infobot. Okay, that's what I hit. I hit circle, which is not go back like it usually is. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure circle is just shoot them. I'm gonna see if I can change that. <laughs> Uh, I cannot. There is no way to change controls. That's fine. I guess I'll have to deal with it. <laughs> guess I'm using the wrench primarily. I mean, that's what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, but one, once we get to the game where they change everything up, it's gonna be like, ha! Boots on the other foot now. Yeah, we're gonna be frustrated that they changed it again. I might not, only because I've played these games several times. And it's very ingrained. The, the other control scheme is very ingrained in me. Mm -hmm. To the point where I still remember it. Right. For dominance. You see, I liberally use the jump attack a lot. Because, mm -hmm. in my opinion, it is the best way to progress. Ow. Okay, fuck you, I guess. Immediately gets hit out of it. Yeah, I guess not. Okay, this looks to be a dead end. There's something floating by, though. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to do anything with that information. 
I don't think I can jump that far, that's the thing. Mm, right. Even with this. Because it's too much up. Right. I guess they need you to collect something. That might be the shortcut back. Yeah, maybe. Because you could easily go down from there. Does have the sort of Metroidvania Dark Souls you like that progression to. Yeah. And not the later Souls games to be like the first one. Where there's a lot of looping back. Yeah. Yeah, except that there's different levels though, which is not a thing Souls would do. Mm -hmm. I thought that was within my range the first time, but it was not. Get out of here, Saw Boys. It's interesting that they at least had a, an actual in-world excuse for why they're introducing saw enemies. We're on the planet where they're getting the trees. Yeah. Oops, I forgot you can't just hold the direction anymore. Oh. You can in the other ones. That's... I don't know what I want to think. It's annoying. It is. To make you actually walk around in a circle. I'd probably look pretty stupid if I had to be the one to figure that out. I mean, I I paused, I froze up like an idiot for a second because I was like, "What am I doing wrong?" Mm -hmm. Goddamn it! There you go. Fuck you. No. That really was not easier than just using a uh, uh, ratchet. Not wrench, sorry. The wrench it? The wrench it. His name is Ratchet, but he uses a wrench. Who would win? Ratch or wrench it? Hmm. Uh, probably wrench it. Just because his name is longer. Yeah, my money is on wrench it. Oh fuck, that, that freezes you in this game. That Yeah, that full-on freezes you in this game. That sucks. Yeah, you have to be fucking committed before throwing shit. Yeah. I <laughs> just hit him off screen, you can hear it. <laughs> Sensor. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the uh, money gravitates to you if you break shit by throwing your wrench. Yes, I think the wrench actually is able to collect money. Yeah, see. Okay. That's why that happens. Get out of here. The most capitalist weapon in the game. The wrench? Yes. It draws money to you and does not require money to shoot. Fair enough. Ow. Fuck you. There's a guy who did a whole run of the game using only the wrench. Oh. You know, the guy who likes to do weird challenges. Oh, yeah. He did, he did uh, Ratchet and Clank. This one specifically, with only the wrench. Oh, how did that end up? Um, the beginning parts are easy because you kind of can just use the wrench. Um, the guns aren't aren't actually required for anything, but the final boss becomes really fucking hard. Oh, I'm sure because he's the final boss. Yeah, because you're supposed to use everything you've gathered the whole game up until that point. Yeah. And also, I'm pretty sure you have to use range to beat him. Okay. Um. Otherwise, you just have to wait like two hours for him to come down for five seconds and then hit him once. Oof. Yep. Jump attack. It's the best thing in the game. It does more damage and it generally, normally, it keeps you out of enemies attack ranges. Yeah, I think it does like twice as much damage. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I guess I am. Maybe, when I get up there. I don't think there's a way up there right now, though. Oh, wait, yeah, uh... Yeah, okay, thanks. Sorry. Sorry. It's dumb of me to not Okay, where am I going? No, I think it's that platform over there. I wonder if you can I doubt it. I kinda wanna have to turn the bolt again so I'm not gonna find out. Also, I just nearly killed myself. Uh. Do you even have a bolt? 
Uh, I think that's what this thing is called. No? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh. Also, good to know the weapon wheel does not pause time in this one. There's some serious quality of life changes in those later games that I really took for granted. Yeah, this isn't The Last of Us. You can pause the game while you're changing weapons. Can you not pause the game in The Last of Us? Yeah, that, The Last of Us and Dark Souls have active time. Uh, well, yeah, Dark Souls. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Last of Us, the first one anyway, all of your stuff that you were done in real time. Which did sort of add tension. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a, not a terrible design decision. Especially when you're getting, like, mobs, like, zombies and shit. Yeah, and the whole point of the game is brutal realism, pretty much. Yeah. Except for the stupid eagle vision thing that they gave you. Like, uh, yes. Uh, you've got, like, a sassy. normal speed. dude that does normal things in the wasteland. By the way, I'm basically going to see the walls. Yeah. Yeah, that's just kind of like a, a, a game trope at this point, though. But, like, I think they were taking cues from, like, Batman's detective vision. Where they were like, oh, yeah, you could probably hear things, your character can hear things, but we're going to display it in such a way that it outlines your character, character's visually. Yeah. So it gives a sort of sinister vision. Well, you know what it is? Is one thing that I find really funny about this. Oh, God damn it. Seriously, hit me again. Ah, you have to fucking commit to that. I always forget about that. In the other games, you can throw it and then jump around while you wait for it to come back. Uh, how far? Did it put me back at the very beginning? It may have. Yeah, this is the very beginning, I think. Yeah, that's true. It's not Dark Souls. It's not quite that. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, one thing that, that I always find really funny is how, um, the first game to do that was, uh, Assassin's Creed. And, uh, every game after that has ripped them off. But the thing is, in Assassin's Creed, it, it actually had a canon in-world explanation. But no game since then has attempted to even try explaining it. Yeah, because you're basically, like, role-playing your ancestors, right? Well, yeah, and... Supposedly, you're part of like an ancient race that has like special powers. Right. So, like the submenus are actually just you. No, I'm talking about the uh, the seeing through walls. Thing. Oh. I, I, the oh. ability to like highlight enemies and shit. Oh yeah. It was called Eagle Vision in uh, Assassin's Creed, which is why I referred to it as that oh. earlier. Okay. And it's sort of protected vision in Batman. Yep. Yep. I just thought it was a sort of synesthesia effect where your character is detecting things that they're hearing and it's highlighting it on the screen for you. Well, that is why I think a lot of... Well, that is the actual explanation for it in The Last of Us. Yeah. Um, but I think that's the only one um, well, like, if they're not where that's noise, the explanation. But if they're not making any noise, then they shouldn't be showing up. Like, I think it would have been... More interesting and like the from the That would be cool. And then it would sort of add tension, like, oh, they're trying to sneak up on you, and you're trying to sneak up on I really gotta stop using the wrench throwing combat since it doesn't freeze uh, since it freezes me in place. I gotta remember not to do that. Sorry. It's fine. Also for interrupting you that too. But yeah, it's just, um, I think the only one where the thing that you're saying is actually the canon explanation is The Last of Us. Um, yeah, and you can just do it because he's bad. I think it's supposed to be like his technology or something, like sonar technology or something. Because he's bad. Fair enough. He doesn't need to explain it. It's true, Batman does not need to explain it. Don't ask. <laughs> Two horizontal slices in a row. Get fucking flippy. Goodbye. I'm not playing around with you fuckers anymore. Yep. I don't want to have to gotta, come gotta back play here. Those same strats. Yeah, I don't want to have to come back here again. The real safe strat would be to actually use the gun, but. 
uh, for the moment, it's just basically. Actually, this is a place where I actually kind of do want to use the bomb club. <laughs> I just don't want to. I just don't want to deal with him. Uh, fighting him with melee combat would be pretty risky. Um, and then this one, I'm pretty sure I can just jump down there. Yeah, that's how I did it before. Cool. This guy fires three shots before stopping, so I need to remember that. So these guys, one, two, three, die. He just really got sparked. Yeah, he really did. Okay, what are we dealing with here? A couple of large guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just like come over and give me the gesture that you want to toss bombs. Oh, you want more bombs? Here you go. Just like yeah, give me, give me the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> End me. <laughs> See, and I got here without taking that damage. Commence rest. New gun. This is a required gun, that's why it's just... The suck cannon. The super suck cannon! Yeah, so you this just gun suck. sucks. <laughs> God damn it. Had to do it. Had to do it to him. Does the suck him? That's the way back that I went through, remember? Ah. That's what I was referring to. I'm pretty sure this is how you get back. But I don't want to go back. Where have I not gone? Hang on, what do you press to... I just tried to press the touchpad that doesn't exist. You to press the select. I tried to press the touchpad that doesn't exist. Looks like I've got most of it. There's an area over here, but I'm guessing that's optional. Um, Looks like the stuff south. Yeah, there's some stuff... God damn it, I did the thing again. You fucked it up. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Because why would you make the circle not the back button? Sadism. This game does seem to have some sadistic design. Sadistic. Just a little bit. I mean, I can understand why they would make you pay to like sell on the capitalist games. Yeah, I, they could that's have definitely. done it so much better. All they had to do was not put that uh, buying thing yeah, right they fucking there. Just made you not they could have just had the like, console to buy the gun be the safety. Okay, why am I here? So that right there... That right there is the shit to the south, see? Mm -hmm. And I can't go there. God damn it! <laughs> Sorry! Circles needs to be back. Fuck it's you if you don't. Tri it's a triangle for some reason. Yeah. So I guess we can't go to the southern part. Yeah, which means where the fuck do I go from here? You got the uh, big suck, and now we're doing Yeah, let's see if there's another planet available, maybe? There shouldn't be. I'm supposed to get an info bot for that. Maybe that area I thought was optional was not optional. Maybe. We'll figure out once I see that there's no planet here. No. Which is exactly what I thought. Confront, Confront robot, robot lieutenant. Explore the mills. I did that. Found I'm guessing that was... Zero of one... Mega nuts. Mega nut. Yes. I know what I said. <laughs> That's what it is. Unless they have an in game description for what it is, I'm calling it the Mega Nut. Mega Nut. Where's that area that I'm supposed to go to? Is it up here? There's something. There's something over here. I don't know if this is stuff. I don't know if this is gonna get me anything, but it's gonna get you some bolts. Come on, go up. Or don't. God, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Why do I have the suck cannon? That's the question. Yeah, does the suck cannon actually do anything for mobility? 
I don't think so. I don't think it lets Unfortunately, you. Unfortunately, there's no robots left to try to stop. Yeah, because I killed them all, and they don't respawn in this game. And I can't go to that other area, so I guess we're done on this planet? <laughs> well, well, okay, which planet is this robot lieutenant? This one! It's this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. And, like, the mission objective is to beat him up. Yeah! Oh, wait, there's a gold bolt up there. Let's see if I can get up there somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Huh. I wonder if, uh... Supposed to. Yeah, I bet that I bet that would work if I wasn't an idiot with it. <laughs> Come on, do your little turn. Hey, got it. Gold bolt. Gold. It has an official name now. Uh, it's not <laughs> mega nut. Mega nut. So what am I missing? I feel like I have to go up there, right? Yeah, you have to sort of get past. No, wait, that's the area that I keep going to Zedena. This right here... That door. Uh, requires a hacking You'll thing. A oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. I know where I'm going. Uh, that area that you went... I guess it's your turn then. Uh, right. with the... Uh, I'll, I'll at least select the planet first. Um, that area you went, uh, that we found the dead end in, is where you have to go. Okay. Um, now that we have the helicopter pack, we can glide over that ditch. And, uh, there's something on the other side of that. I'm pretty sure that's where you get the thing we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Also, that's the wrong thing. Is it? No, I don't think it is. It's this one. This is the one with the water. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in that water area. Yeah. Let's see if the trespassers pass this. I'm pretty sure it is. In fact, I think I know who gives it to you. I will pass your trust. I have several questions. I do find it interesting that they didn't program that they programmed the the uh, falling ceiling ceiling things to not fall again. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they had, that had to be a conscious decision on their part. Also, I had a feeling we were going to do this. <laughs> okay. Did they have to put me all the way back? Yes. They could have just said, no, oh, no, you can't go this way. You know, they had to go the whole mile. Yep. Whoa. That was weird. So many memes to catch up on, but no, oh, yeah. no time. So many memes, so little time. Yes, I need to actually continue watching this and not be like Nathan. So, oh, you're gonna test it out? He might be too big. Okay. Those birds probably would have worked out. The birds you fought before. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I don't think I need a tutorial. I can... Uh, a deeply ingrained piece of me can feel it hitting and launching me back. Yeah, my gamer senses are tingling. Yeah. It's like some ancient uh, feeling deep within me that's like... That's saying... That's going to hurt. I don't think you need to try that thing any more than it already is. Yeah, I think you're just supposed to glide over the thing on the left. Because you can get over that now. You may need to jump, get up onto the big thing to get up there. Mm, yeah, and do a sort of run and jump. Or even just a regular glide, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. 
Yeah, you don't need to have a lot of speed to do that. I'm pretty sure you can pull that off. Just move and then... Yeah, there you go. Oh. Well, close one, but yeah, that seems to be the way you're supposed to do it. Alright, There's actually a staircase over there. You could probably just hug and jump. <laughs> then again... Then again, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> better safe than so. Also, why is he wearing pants but not shoes? Um, so his massive dong doesn't hang out? But shoes are so much more like a Uh, probably, yeah. Like, if you're doing a lot of running, it doesn't matter what race you are, you're gonna have sore feet. Maybe this, uh, universe doesn't make shoes that fit Lombaxes appropriately? I mean, I guess, since he's, what, like, the only member of the universe? Well... That's one of the things that gets retconned, because in this one, he's not. Um, but in the in the future series, they kind of ignore the fact that there are other Lombaxes. <laughs> they all die. Yeah, all the, all the characters that we met that were Lombaxes canonically died. Yes. I mean, that is what's actually legitimately implied, though. Yeah, like, that's not even just reading too far into it. Yeah. In order to make However, the weird thing about it, though... In order to make these two pieces of information link up, that's what has to happen. But they still don't even link up that well, because while I guess you could say that, the games do imply that the Lombaxes have been gone for a long time. Okay. So why are you on? Well, what you you Oh, I fucking called it! Oh, you bitch! It's only 500 this time. Pay money to progress the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Just slide down, slide down, slide pipe. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go. We're not going to explain this. Oh, this is important. <laughs> Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboard. Always going on about how cool Skid McMark like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. In Planet Iridia, it's pretty arid. Oh god. You're right. They couldn't have made that more obvious in the trailer. Nope! In fact, I think they did try, and that's how they got that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, more money. You know what? If it's good enough for that fucking plumber, it's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, that's also the thing that spit you out in the first place. That you tried to climb up. Uh -huh. I wonder if that 500 volts was enough to get him off the plane. Or if he's just like, eh, fuck you, I'm out of here. He's like, haha, five bucks! <laughs> nice! I'm gonna go blow it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're done here. <laughs> Iridia. Uh. I think this place sucks. It's been a while though, so I don't remember if it's going. Tobruk, Metropolis, Logging Site, Outpost, Exit, Iridia, Eudora, Kerwin, and Navarre. Right, Most of them don't sound that stupid. 
Yeah. Just Iridia they, is they kind of They sound obvious. like they could be real planets. Yeah. At least by science fantasy standards. Of course, yeah, yeah. Skid McMark's times. Time. <laughs> so many fucking things. <laughs> How many times are we gonna see the plane flying? <laughs> it's sorry. like when they have the uh the plant they finally get the planet sized Gurren log on and it just does four double takes. <laughs> <laughs> Unmatched in heaven and earth. <laughs> they just they just straight up played back the same footage five times. <laughs> Oops. Uh, log on is pretty clever. <laughs> Are those land sharks? Kind of. I'm pretty sure those are land sharks. What are land sharks? They're sharks. But on they're land. on land. <laughs> I, I figured as much, I just didn't know if there was anything additional I should know about them. No. That's literally it. Oops, I pressed the fire button from the other games. That reminds me, there's now a magic... Can you not do that while jumping? Now that they released the um, Mutant Monster Ikoria set, we now have a commander card that oh. is literally just a flying shark. That's it, it's a flying shark. What is it's like, and it's a commander? Yeah, it's a legendary creature, so you could use it as a commander. It's a legendary creature. What set is this? The newest one from Magic the Gathering. Is I it the, the one with the Godzilla stuff in it? Yeah. The Kaijus? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> they also made a Sharknado reference in that set. Nice. I'm not too sure how to feel about that. Sharknado's funny. But they it's deliberately stupid, But so. they literally just... It's just a tornado full of sharks <laughs> for the artwork. Wow. Okay, so, um, looks like I might have a couple of paths here. Oh, that just looks like it might be a collectible. Is that a grappler hook point? Does this automatically happen? Not in this game, it doesn't. No such luck, so. I gotta actually manually switch to the swing shot in this game, huh? God damn it. I just didn't realize that would stop my momentum that hard. Oh no. Good to know. I'm sure you can just furiously spam drums. I mean, I was jumping as much as I could there. Uh. I don't know if I'd trust it. That's why this planet sucks. I don't like that with the grappling things, uh, you continue falling while it shoots out. So you oh, feel yeah. like you're just gonna die. Yeah. Really does. Probably unnecessary. So. Yeah. All right. I don't know where I'm going right now. Okay. Oh wait, I can actually still move. Yeah. See, you only get three there. You want to try it? All right. You could just go to the right, <laughs> but I think because I think that might actually be where we're supposed to go. Or you could try going where I was going, which may also be where we're supposed to go, because it went farther than I expected it to. And might as well see where we're going. Yeah, might as well check this area out first as well. Okay, yeah, it definitely does check. The game does check how much height you have before it lets you cut. Yeah. Because when you jumped over that gap, it worked. I forgot how to <laughs> Didn't take long. That does not work. 
<laughs> there's there's a fair amount of controls in this game. And part of it is like you tend to switch between them, you know? Okay. Like, okay, now I'm using the wrench. Okay, now I'm using guns. Especially in this one. In the other ones, it's a little more fluid, but... Okay. This one, admittedly... I mean, they were just figuring out things, I suppose. Yeah. This one does feel a lot clunkier than the other ones. What yeah, the hell is that? It looks like there's nothing. Well, that circle panel does something. It, the circle, if you stand on it. Oh. I, I just don't know what. I am smart. Apparently it brings you down here. I don't know where here is, or why we want to be here, but... Here we are. Yes, nonetheless, here we are. Land shark time. Fucking land sharks. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yes. Up here is the masturbation room. <laughs> look at how shiny they're trying to make it look. <laughs> you see how it, like, glinted in the sunlight? <laughs> oh, I wish we had face Take cam. A screenshot of this. <laughs> It's done. We have 60 every second. Good. Actually, it's probably. I doubt this is running at 60 frames a second, actually. This is like 30 at best. Yeah. Uh, at best. I love how they add personality to these guys. He pulls up the mask, like, hang on a second. Oh. Mm hmm. You goofy little fuckers. What's that? Uh, I think camera, it's just... My camera won't let me see. Alright, there's nothing down there. <laughs> there's bombs, which technically hold bolts, but it's a waste of time. Oh no. <laughs> God damn it. No, I had it. There we go. <laughs> There's one of those. <laughs> there it is. Just give me some time, I'll figure it out. You, you did. I was wondering what you were doing. Uh, look at that wall behind you. Oh wait, that actually- maybe not. Maybe, maybe the thing you were doing makes more sense. That looks like you might be able to grab it. It definitely looks like something's going on there. Yeah, there you go. There. Okay, you're up top again. Uh, Back into the gross part of the world. There was a no not gross part of the world. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, it's PS2 <laughs> You can only do so much. I was more comparing the uh, swamp to the factory part. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this black planet, planet and my star and client is really weak and bound. Hey, hey, we saw you, we saw you on that info box. You're scared to agent. What? Agent. What? What? agent. Haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an African kid. You can bring that big chip ride from the hoverboard What a city. I'll make you my next stop. We have no time to trivial matters, sir. I could be the next kid marks. God damn it. Clank, we're trying to save the universe. Ratchet, I'm gonna be a hoverboard star. Fuck it. Side quest. Fuck it. Side quest. That must be the most unsafe transportation ever. <laughs> Screw capsule? Can't deny it looks pretty cool though. It does, yeah. I mean, that has so many safety hazards. If you're standing a little too close to the edge and your arm gets caught in that... Yeah. <laughs> uh... Clearly the, um, Galactic Federation doesn't have time for OSHA. They absolutely do not. 
knowing how these games tend to go, they do not. <laughs> um, plus, if you, uh, if it springs a leak, you're filled with mud in two seconds. Mm -hmm. Plus, I don't see any uh, way to get air into there, so during that transit time, you just have to hold your breath. All right. Uh, Skilly. Love of Doom. Glove. That's a lot of money. That's, that's all like our, your that's whole. All that's all our, our money. If we have to I buy any shit, we, we, we do have to hold on to that. Fuck. We do have to wait before getting more of that. You already have max ammo because we've been uh, picking it up as we go. God damn it! Oh, that's Ooh. a nice. It also um, says it on the top left. So. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a real beauty. That's a good beauty. Right. Oh my god, this guy. Well, alright, Scaly, we'll be back. <laughs> You're one to talk? We're, uh, Lombax. He keeps calling us close back. I have to, I have to clap back. Fair point, okay. He did start it, that is true. Alright, that's in Metropolis, right? Uh, what are we trying to do? Become a skating champion? No, I don't think it is. I think it's somewhere we have to, we haven't gone yet. Um, I think that uh, there was two paths earlier. I think maybe if you okay, go the other yeah. one. That makes sense. Also, did you see a did you see the objectives list per, by chance? Uh, let's see. Uh, X. Nice. Locate skate McMarks. Find, bring prize to agent. Use your swing shot. We don't have the prize. Find skids agent. Bring prize, use swing shot. Use your swing shot is really fucking vague and un and unexplained. Mm. But we do clearly have to find skid McMarks. Can we not? Okay, we can change plans to view this. Oh, that's good. Confront Lobo. We already know we can't do that till we get a hacking thing. Um, do we have anything on? Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't I matter. Press it's not a Kirling. big deal. Kerwin, do we have anything more to do? That? Nah, Kerwin's done. All missions. Fuck Kerwin. Yeah, agreed. No valves. All done. So, so yeah, we just have to. Our only uh, options are Gizora. Confront the robot lieutenant, which we can't do yet. So we have to find Skid McMarch, basically. Yeah, maybe if we find Skid, then he'll let us take his place. I think we might need his hoverboard, or maybe he's the one who gives us the info bot for the planet that we do the tournament on. I don't know. Maybe. I feel like that's what we need to do. Is that, him. that sound? It's it. It sounds weird. Yeah. So let's go do this fucking shit. Yeah, the way I was going is probably how you get the skid. That's probably why I remember this planet sucking, because the way I was going was really annoying. There was a lot of swing shot shit. Censored that. <laughs> yeah. Hover, or not. <laughs> I guess just don't use the smash attack. <laughs> that was my mistake. This is the one that fucked me here, so be careful. Okay, I guess you don't even have to be over the ground. That was my mistake there. Are yeah, you trying to get too fancy? Yeah. I thought I had to, though. I thought I had yeah, to be no, able to. It makes sense that you would think that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta stop mailing those men. <laughs> yeah, that's twice now. Yeah. The red crates. Always the explosive ones. Is it not letting you travel? Oh, you're gonna destroy the stuff first. I see. Smart. Smart. Oh, not yet. Did it do that thing again? Yeah, it automatically retards it. Yeah. That's kind of weird. I know that that's because sometimes there are areas where there's two of them in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like here. Because here's the real challenge. You cannot do this. It's not hard. Just just riskier is all. It's not more difficult, it's just more, and more dangerous. Mm hmm I 
to go around the perimeter here. And up through that hole. I think I might need to do the reticle targets. Perhaps. Target, you bitch. This is not doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna be... There we go. You're not gonna be able to reticle target that second one, I'll tell you that much. Don't tempt don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> Try and quick scope it. <laughs> quick scope that target. <laughs> Don't you die? So, and we have to go back to the beginning again. Uh, looks like we get some. another new weapon. Hopefully, that's the hacking thing. Yes. It is. Yes. It's the hacking thing. Cool. Just need to keep an eye on that little plate over there. If it changes color, then I have to go do something about it. Ah, uh, yes, the hacking gun. Hacking gun. Yep, everything has to be a gun in this game. So. Yeah, pretty sure Skid Mix Marks is down in the swampy area. Yeah, in the bottom. This, this swamp just makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I remember really not liking this planet. Uh, also, it doesn't help that my dirtle sensors are activated at full <laughs> speed. Yeah, and this game without the quality of life changes of the sequels. Okay, we're back where we Oh, started. yeah, okay. So we just came here for the hacker thing then. Okay, so we can, so we can go, go back, back to the to other one. Novaris and beat up the robot. Yes, that's. I'm guessing that's correct. That's where we're supposed to go. I don't know if we can do the skid mark, skid mick marks thing out of order, but. I mean, I'm sure speedrunners have done it, but it doesn't mean that the average man. <laughs> I more meant if it was intended to be done out of order. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a couple things that you could do out of order. I guess. Um, like, when we got the helipack, we could have gone straight to the place with the uh, robot to get to this area, mm. instead of going to the new planet and finding out we couldn't do anything. <laughs> right. uh, off here we go. Kind of Robot Lieutenant time. Fuck it, Robot Lieutenant time. Boy. Ooh. I'm actually making some pretty good progress. Yeah, um... We could theoretically beat this game in one sitting, but I don't know if we will. Yeah. Um... There's still quite a bit to go. But you know, we're moving through it. It's always good to be moving mm -hmm. through it. Yeah. Um, I could be giving intros and outros to uh, make this into several episodes, but hey, this might be just a, a one episode playthrough of a game. Who knows? I, mean, maybe. I don't know why I'm going this way. It's the other one. <laughs> it's not going to be a one episode playthrough if I keep doing shit like that. No. Walking the wrong fucking direction. I mean, we're at 10 15 right now. Yeah. So. And it looks like we are done with half the planet. How do I, how do I do that? I didn't see when you did it. Oh, is it just circle? Right, because it's fire, because it's considered a gun. Oh boy, this is the tough one. Uh, how do you have to press the control pad? Control pad? To move the ring. Which ring you're moving. Okay. 
Oh, I had it backwards, that's all. There we go. What's going on with the music? I don't know, man. These early games had some real wacky music. Like the music changed just now. Yeah, I guess it's like the music of this area. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm bringing those things in, apparently. Gotta remember not to... I just had one of those, like, Vietnam flashback-style things where, uh... <laughs> I, I, I just went, Oh, I've done this before, jumped off the ledge and forgot to switch weapons and died as a result. Oh. I've definitely done that. <laughs> Big goof, my friend. Yeah. Have you had to turn one of these things yet? No. It's just coincidentally I've always been the one to do these. Yeah, you've been on... I've never been on this planet. Yeah. Well, there's those bolts throughout the entire game. In fact, I'm oh. an idiot. Well, you're about to be on this planet. <laughs> in fact, those bolts exist in through all the games, actually. Okay those turning things. But in most of them it's not stupid. You can just hold one direction and they'll do it. Alright. But you actually have to walk around <laughs> on this one. I should have done the long jump here, but the glide works too. The long jump probably was safer though. Swing shot. This one's pretty safe to quick target, to be honest. You just hit it. Just jump into it, yeah. I just shouldn't have been fucking around with the uh, height of these things. That makes me really uncomfortable every time you do that. <laughs> what? Just barely make it onto the panel. <laughs> I think I might need to long jump. Yeah, that's what I was doing with the other ones. I was long jumping them all. And I only fucked up at the end because I did it when one of them was down. Right. Oh, here, you go. here we go. Now I get to do one. You didn't have any trouble with it. That wasn't too good, because I knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah. Traffic faster. Oh, we have a uh, reflector. Yeah. It's a blocker. Right, so we'll just need to line up everything else first. And no, we should line up the reflector. That's probably where that one goes. There's, there's no other one. Yeah. Which means that... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I'm sure there's probably multiple ways to do some of these. Maybe. There definitely was for the first one where, there, where it was really easy. Yeah. Uh, yes. Money. <laughs> Money that we don't know whether we can spend or not. Um. T posing. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it! Do it! <laughs> Just <laughs> do don't it! Let your dreams, dreams be dreams! Dream. Don't let your dreams be dreams! <laughs> yes, dream! <laughs> Just do totally it! Do it! Just make do dreams it. come true! <laughs> Just do it! Uh, note to self, do something with the editing there. I don't know what, just something. <laughs> that needs some attention drawn to it. <laughs> I don't want to do a lot of editing with these videos. Uh, because I don't have a lot of time, because I have an actual job now. <laughs> but that was deserving of some editing. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> 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 just glossed over that one. Let's go get some. Let's go get some. Let's go get some. No, I'm glad the game pointed it out too, that that logic yeah. doesn't make any sense. No, this is literally just an excuse to go to the space station. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Ratchet. <laughs> Classic early Ratchet. Being just a total fucking dick. <laughs> Make up any excuse to do what he wants. Yeah. There's one thing that I really appreciate about just these games. Do it! <laughs> There's one thing that I really appreciate. <laughs> I can't even finish my thought. <laughs> when we get to the second <laughs> game. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're buying the glove. Yeah, it's probably worth it now. The glove of doom. I don't uh, know what it yeah. does. It, uh, look, it's it starts us out with three ammo. Fucking dickhead. Merchant. Yeah, these guys are bunches of... It's fine, we can find ammo. A bunch of we'll just, we'll just find ammo. Heads. Don't pay them. Fuck these guys. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Fuck these guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just find ammo. It's fine. <laughs> They just start you off with increasingly less ammo for each weapon. They keep trying to shaft you more and more as the game goes on. Yeah. That's obviously intentional. They, they really are just trying to play that fucking... Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> not... It's, it's not just bad mechanics, Angle. but they're bad mechanics for a purpose. Yeah. They're intentionally trying to make you feel mad. <laughs> they're just <laughs> trying to make you get shafted more and more by society. <laughs> It all makes sense. Can we get a... I don't know if this is going to be possible. Can we get an image of Ratchet but photoshopped with the Joker makeup? Thank you. <laughs> we live in a galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Is this the new place? Yeah. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, something dumb? Tournament or something? Lab, something else. Some know. shit. We're going to the station because Ratchet wants to go to the station. Oh, right. Not because we want to. <laughs> also, that was the Joker face. I missed it. Sorry. I kind of saw it. It's probably just me seeing things. It could be because we were just talking about yeah, it. Look, if you look outside, it looks like a clown face. Sort of. Is that thing there? They, yeah, if you think they only have two eyes. <laughs> Okay. I looked at it too quick. Fair enough. Okay, so it looks like That's not an option because there's some lasers. Now we're getting nuts from these crits, which are 10 bolts. Oh, really? I didn't notice. What's this thing? Well, that was easy. Well, uh, alright. I'm gonna explore the other ways first. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that one why last, I think. Why can't I just do I just wanna know what, uh... I just wanna know what my options are first. This looks like a hacking area. I can go there because I have the hacking I can access all of these areas. I don't know which one to do first. I'm just gonna do the one that I beat up first. I, mean, right. I guess they just want to make you feel cool. Feel like I have choices. Yeah, or make you feel like, oh, these are all locked, but you have the technology now to fix it. We have the technology. 
but you, you, you have the resources to take care of each other. I guess that. Uh, oh, uh, frogs. Are these spawning in family? No, no, no. There you go. They just spawn a lot. They just spawn a lot, that's all. I wonder if you can ever get, like, health boosts or something. Um, that's a good question. It looks like there could be space for more health boosts. Yeah. I know you certainly can in other games. Um. Okay. I'm gonna die again. Fuck. What? What the fuck was that? You deal with this bullshit. <laughs> that was some bullshit. That was not on me. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Boom. <laughs> 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 I got you. Uh, well, at least the stupidity of this game is entertaining. Talk to it. Oh, that's the thing it wants us to buy now. Yeah, but I'm not buying it because we don't have enough money for story-related buffers. Yes, I agree. Right, well, I'm actually with you on this because I don't think the taunter is all that useful anyway. I mean, it, it might mi be. It might be, but we're not going to find out. I think it's one of those things that you pull out, shoot one, and then switch to something else. Yeah. Wait, Our I thought we had- I ball. thought we had Glove of Doom. We had three. That must have been what I was using there. I thought I was using the bomb, but I guess I was using the Glove of Doom. Oh. Sorry, I used all of our ammo. Yeah. Uh, Jesus, what that's the- Oh my god. Us now. <laughs> oh my god, look at all this shit! Alright, I guess we need to keep these mirrors off of... So this looks like a good spot for the out Hang on, hang on. Go to the, go to the right. No, that's, sorry. Other way. Okay, hold on. Is this possible? No, you have to put it between the three. It's the only way. Yeah. And this, this activates two, and then we go to the inner ring. Yeah, yeah, and then you hit the third. But everything needs to be shifted to the right. One. Er, this way. Clockwise one. Everything. Yeah, like that. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Good. That was beautiful, it. Beautiful. Send Clank to explore outside the station. Alright, well, there you go. Bitch. Oh no, I hate playing as Clank. Clank is the worst part of these games. So I'm just gonna piss people to death. I don't know why we're doing this, but I guess we're doing this. Both Ratchet and Clank are way better when they work together, and I know that that's kind of the point, but that you have to make this solo section so painful. Because <laughs> his jump is garbage. Ooh, yeah, this is, this is, this is trash. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. But Ratchet can't come out here because he can't breathe. Right. All right. Put up your fists, frog, or get fisted. Oh my god. <laughs> There were five, actually. Yeah. No getting stuck on Jim. 30-17. Yeah, you don't have slam. Because <laughs> your, your ass climb. I was wondering if I could just sit my ass down like ground pound. Jump, jump, then press, 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 Find who was the one who had that in the first place. Did you know that there's a game called Secret Agent Clank where you only play as Clank? Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's more of a puzzle game, to be honest. It's a, it's one of the spin-off titles. 
I mean, okay. Um, it has a canon explanation, uh, which I will explain when we get there, because it's kind of a spoiler for the end of this game. Alright. I may have told you about it in the, in the past anyway, but... I don't think you did, but I'm going to pretend like you did. Fair enough. Up here? Uh, it looks like the way to progress might be up here. Looks like you might want to walk on those side things there, the green things. Oh yeah, you. I need to glide over there. Yeah. Oh, tank controls. Yeah, especially with clank. Clank controls. Clank the tank. Plus the way he moves on these things. Well, that's just because I'm doing the slow walk. Oh, it is? Yeah. If you just tilt it forward, you can make him strut like he's going down the catwalk. Oh, I thought that was because he was on this surface. No. Like it was a, a magnetic surface, I think. No, that's just me being overly cautious. Oh. Okay. I don't know how you... That looks like it might function as a ladder. Yeah. Just make sure my audio doesn't shut down. I noticed that there are a lot of planets in very close proximity here. Yeah. This is like the end of days, if this was an actual solar system. I think that um, some of those at least are supposed to be like asteroids, not planets. But the ones you were looking at there were definitely planets, because they were all different colors yeah. and they were all perfectly spherical. Mm -hmm. Like, either they're planets, or they're, like, city-sized asteroids. Yeah. And perfectly spherical ones at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Pay <laughs> <Maybe> watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we get, a uh, what's that called? Uh, Chariots of Fire? Thanks. <laughs> I think I'm just... Yeah, I'm, I'm literally back where I came from. No, I don't think you are. You, you never get on a path this long before. Okay, no, no. I'm just freaking myself out. You are sort of going in a loop, but you're not back where you started. You're, like, adjacent to it. Yeah, okay. Um, you've never been on a path this long before, so you're certainly not going back to start. On my way to fuck your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't die. <laughs> you have to do that old fucking section again. That's Clank. Oh my god, that thing is huge compared to him. What? Oh, hell no. It's one of these. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, they are fun to watch, though. Probably not fun to deal with. Enter with a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Enter. Enter what? You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> How did I do that? Triangle? Probably. Sick of <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. <laughs> What the fuck? This is literally nothing. Yeah, I think it's just part of like architecture. Fair enough. Like an explanation for how people get up there.
Squashed it down. <laughs> it is now useless. <laughs> <laughs> he has that. Oh boy, yes. Reggie, I got a good. Oh god damn it! You're right. That is what it sounds like. In other words, that's for somewhere else. It manipulates water. Yeah, it controls water levels. We learned the move water gun. God damn it. So we're gonna need that for something. Mm -hmm. Unless they just wanna fake us out. <laughs> they just give you a completely useless weapon. <laughs> the suck cannon. Good point. The suck cannon is pretty useless. They faked us out with that. Oh. Yeah, they did. No, this one I know actually from experience is actually not pointless. Okay. Unfortunately. Back to Return to Ratchet. I'm by so you are you are. And man, I thought I know this is bigger than him. It's a uh uh what is it? What is it? Hey, hi, hey, 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 Okay, yeah, this is the uh, last utility gun, I suppose. Not necessarily. Remember, there was another gun we could buy. Oh, yeah, so I guess the Which real... Which means there must be one more than one weapon wheel. So I guess the, the weapon wheel either gets bigger or there's more wheels. I think there's a second wheel. It's really like double wheels. There's a second wheel in the other games, too, I so it wouldn't surprise ball. me. Fuck you, Fuzzball. <laughs> oh, yeah, Fuzzball. Right. He looks like the type of guy who would say that, too. That thing you just bought doesn't apparently come with ammo. Like, it doesn't require ammo, because you can't buy ammo. What is this thing? He just gave the most evil grin. <laughs> what? Oh, we need to fuck around with our quick select. Wait, wait. Oh, you're right. You pieces of fucking just, shit. Just take the suck cannon off of it. We hate the suck cannon, right? You gotta actually pause. Which is kinda cancer. This is the most gross shit. Yeah, you can do it through here. But it's the it's not this. Uh hit back. Quick select. Uh, look at how many there are. <laughs> um Wait, what happens if you hit R1 and L1? What happens if you hit R1 and L1? Okay, so yeah, so go down to that, the, the one at the bottom, and then Replace it with the other thing that we just got. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if the taunter is actually Easy. use worth using. Oh, it's worth giving it a shot. I know in the other games there's uh, just multiple weapon wheels. So yeah, we have. Let's see. One, two, three, five, ten, fifteen guns and six utility guns. <laughs> yeah. I hate this right. game. It sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, it's literally just a thing to attract attention somehow. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> I don't know, let's find out what it does. Go down one of the two paths that we have remaining. Probably that one first, yeah. This one here. Probably the best way to go first. Because the other one's going to send us down a whole thing. <laughs> well, we didn't get his attention. I think so that's because that, that thing's motion, I think, is scripted. This is contrary to shit. Maybe it doesn't work on frogs. That would be a very strange exception. <laughs> Does not work on frogs. 
Yeah, the same way the gate spell doesn't work on the <laughs> Yeah. That's that actually feels like more like a joke reference thing. Yeah. Does not work on Minotaurs. He just randomly explodes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he keeps doing melee attacks though. So it'll stop him from doing the, the, the wave thing that killed us last time. Or killed me, I should say. Yeah. I wasn't one blind. Well, I guess if we just put throw a bunch of sound at him, it'll work eventually. <laughs> <laughs> this makes a bunch of stupid noises. Yeah, the frogs don't kill us first. There's a health at the end of the hall. A health. Okay. Well, what's on the left here first before you hack that thing? Yeah, it's a whole area. I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> I was just curious if it was just like one little area. One little thing. Okay. So... Oh this is so fucking weird. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's how that's supposed to go too. Mm -hmm. Then we need to adjust these mirrors out it of the way. It not be in the way of anything. Which is fine yeah, where it is, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, there you yeah, go. We're good. Cool. Oh my god, did those just come out of a crate? Yeah. Oh boy. The love of doom. Meanwhile, at the Glove of Doom. Meanwhile, the Glove of Doom. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty much, yeah. Did you not notice that we got love of you uh, before we got the love of you? Yeah, I did notice that. I wonder why that is. I don't know, maybe it just randomly gives you ammo and it doesn't even take into account what you own? No. Maybe it only takes into account what's available, not what you own. I mean, maybe, because we totally had, like, back there, all of that ammo was love of you. So it clearly takes into account, like, what we have in stock right now, because if it didn't, then we would just be getting, like, bomb and stuff, too, and what happened. Okay, fair enough. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Yeah, you just gotta get right in those guys' faces. Just gotta straight up and let's do them. Yeah. They roar! guys! That's what I would name a scout rogue if I made one. Yep. Leroy. Leroy Jenkins. And he just screams his name whenever he runs into a sneak attack. Okay, these guys are really obnoxious to destroy. Them. You might want to get a gun on them. Yeah, maybe a blaster or a bomb. Or you could try out the Globe of Doom, but I don't know what it does. I think it's just a better bomb. It looks like the Thanos gun. Yeah, it looks like the Tony Stark gun, doesn't it? It does, actually, yeah. It's, um... Ratchet was doing Infinity War before Marvel. Infinity War before it was cool. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, Hang on, so get rid of the get rid of the force field around him. Hit the hit the thing over there. Those dudes are friends, not foes. Yeah, that's that's what the that's what was going on earlier. <laughs> we ah! just got spawn kill. <laughs> <laughs> I like those things. Okay, I like the glove of doom now. Yeah, the glove of doom is a good item. No wonder it only gives you 10, <laughs> 10 ammo for it, because they're good. 
You use something stupid to shoot that top one. Or that, that works too. Oh jeez, there's just so many of these things. Fucking frogs, man. Frogs, man. Careful with that ranged attack. It locks you in place. Yeah, you gotta really be fucking committed. Yeah, you gotta know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Like, you're, you use that range attack, you're marrying yourself to that till death to us part. Yeah, and it may be death, too. <laughs> Fucking frogs on the ceiling. What will they do? Frogs on the ceiling, <laughs> what will they do? Apparently jump back and forth forever. I think those actually might have glitched out. I don't think they're supposed to do that. Yeah, they're just like fucking around <laughs> the new <laughs> They're living their best life. <laughs> they're fine, we just leave them be. <laughs> you can hear the sounds of them behind you still, and it was really <laughs> bugging me out. Oh, fuck you, game. Whoa. Whoa. That was a close one, dude. Only got one time. No. <laughs> now you're fine. Now you've got two health. Oh, what is that sound? I don't know, but I don't like it. It might be Glove of Doom time. Oh. Okay, yourselves. It's just more frogs. Oh wait, no, there's the, there are the big things too. Nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. Very good. Something you're about to sneak up and eat my ass. Cause I'm hearing something. <laughs> I think it might be the Glove of Doom thing. Oh, it's the Doom Bots. Yeah. Doom Bots. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is it. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of do your work for you. No wonder they're so expensive. Yeah. I'm gonna go grab something, I'll be back in a second. Alright, yeah. I know there's nothing really here to see at the moment. Yeah, you're just making sure you get all the items. Yeah, I'm just dirtling. I've been meaning to get stuff for a while. Alright, yeah, go ahead. Oh! Oh! The fucking end. Hey, we got something. I don't know if it's important, but we got it. something we'll have to deal with in the future. I also got one of those gold bolts. Well, that's good. I'm sure it's something we're gonna find out later. Doom time? Perhaps. If we've got plenty of ammo, why not? <laughs> I love how they just immediately gank them. Yeah. Like... <laughs> 
These probably aren't any good. That's okay, I've got one. Well, those are some pretty crashed crackers, probably. Oh, it, the uh, gun seems like it auto locks on. Yes, it does. As long as you're facing the same general direction. It gets better in the later games, too, because the they stop facing the direction on the direction you walk, right. which is kind of cancerous. Just a little bit. Yeah, and it makes it actually use the classic dual joystick setup instead. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. It is a little finicky in the first game. Like everything else. <laughs> Everything is a little finicky in the first game. I can just pick these guys off from range. Yeah. They can't even get to me. Fucking chunks. <laughs> You're not gonna be saying that once we get to deadlock. Yeah, we are. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> we get there when we get there! <laughs> <laughs> When your friend is asking you when the game actually becomes hard. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> no, and trust me, it does not stay easy for the whole thing. I'm sure. Deadlock actually gave me a little bit of trouble, and uh, the future series is actually like appropriately balanced as a game. <laughs> oh, like, pretty solid. I had a lot of trouble with the heart with the last boss of the future series. I died like five times. Mainly because I kept falling off of the ledge. And because I was trying to constantly dodge. I don't have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare right here. <laughs> Look at that shit! <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> it's gonna show up in my dreams. Alright, now, now, now you're done, son. You shouldn't have paused for two seconds to look around. Your first mistake was thinking you'd live long enough to make another one. Oh, that's a pretty raw line, I gotta give you credit for that. These are definitely wrenched boys. Boys that are easily dealt with with a wrench. I will offer you a writ, but you are playing, so I will wait until it is not your turn to play. And then I will pass you some writ. <laughs> Just got instantly game. Now I can just stun my these guys. Now I need to get a new gun. Commence weapon real shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the way he walks. He will walk. When he do, what will you do? It will be over for you. He walking. Is, is this the first actual boss we fought? Yes. And it was really dumb. And there wasn't even any boss <laughs> No, you're right. Was there even like an intro cutscene or something? Yeah, there was. Okay. Just no pomp and circumstance at all. Just like, yeah, you gotta beat these guys up now. Not fun. To be fair, that was a pretty dull boss anyway. Yeah, it didn't really deserve music. Yeah. The music just looped and you could hear it. I, I don't know if I was the only one who noticed that, so I'm like, oh, did I notice that? Yeah, it just... But then you brought it up, <laughs> too, I'm like, oh, okay. It took me a second to comprehend what I just heard. Yeah. Classic old video game music. Before they knew how to make things dynamic. What the fuck is happening now? Excuse me, but what the fuck? <laughs> it's like a little scientist dude. Oh, uh, okay. Carry on, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy from the video. Oh, okay. 
you can come down, man. Honestly, honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect if you ask me. me. So, so are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary You can have more than one. I'm just passing you one because I have them over here so I can. Viola. Viola? He said Viola instead of Viola. What a loser. How about I sell you these? It costs. That's really fucking expensive. Yeah. We, do, we do actually need those though. Yeah, this is why we fucking keep bolts and reserves. Yeah. Well, thanks. I'm gonna get out of here. I still can. Bump and grind. It's actually incredible to me how many of these mechanics were introduced in the first game. Mm. A I lot mean, of these things I always forget were introduced in the first fucking game. I mean, this is very clearly a complete game already. Yeah. Right, but we need to now equip the grind boots onto our knees. Do we? I think we can just jump onto it. I think you just jump onto the thing. There's no grind boots. Okay. You just literally just jump on. Yeah, there you go. Hey, goes. you've got shoes now! Oh yeah, now we got shoes. Probably not gonna wear them most of the time, though. Also, I know we're grinding uphill now. Sonic the Hedgehog is very displeased. <laughs> hey, Sonic does that too. Actually. In uh, Sonic Riders, at least. Yeah, well, we don't talk about Sonic that much. That game wasn't <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I played Sonic and it was very dope. As far as Sonic games go, it was not that bad. <laughs> I mean, there have been worse Sonic games, but that's not a huge part of the <laughs> Exactly, that's my point. So we've gone everywhere, but there's a there's one more. Yeah, there's that the way. fourth quadrant here, once you go to the spaceship. Yeah. That's probably the only other thing we have to do. We might as well do everything on each planet, so we don't have to come back to it. I mean, yeah. Plus, we don't even know what the grind boots will unlock for us. Yeah. I don't think I've even seen a grind rail yet. Yeah, I mean, I think. I love it. <laughs> oh. I'm turned to docking, but no, don't do that. <laughs> the lift's all over again. Not the lift. I'm really liking the blaster. Yeah, I told you the basic blaster is one of the better weapons. Just because it's simple to use, you know. Yeah, you, you don't have to worry about aim a aiming the stupid bombs or something. Yeah, even the bombs though, I can get behind. Yeah, the bombs are good. They're just their aiming's a little annoying. They're more of a stop and wait and figure out what to do kind of weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay, doing the. Uh good old chuck maneuver seems to be what you do to get rid of the frogs. You think so? Yeah, you need to kill them before they get to you because you can't, like, make combo them fast enough. Mm, okay. That was really disorienting. Okay. Answer! <laughs> It really goes to show you how much more fluid the, the later games are compared to this one. I mean, uh, you gotta start somewhere, I guess. So Honestly, like, this game is very much like, hang on, I gotta jump over this thing and then shoot this guy. The other games are like, backflipping while shooting rockets at everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love the other games. Oh yeah, blaster. I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether two and three are as good as the other ones, but I do know that um, the future series. The future series definitely is great because it's PS3, not PS2. Mm -hmm. um, but also, even Deadlocked is pretty good, pretty damn good. And that one's a PS2 one. Uh, which one is Deadlocked? Uh, the fourth one. Okay. Yes. Um, if we're playing the main series games plus Deadlocked, which is pretty much the only ones that matter in canonical order. It's eight games, and Deadlocked is number four. It's four for the PS2, four for the PS3. Oh, I can't lock on. All right, that's it. Love it. <laughs> you can in the later games, but 
I'm gonna be saying that a lot. <laughs> it seems. <laughs> yeah. Don't like it. I will still need to get through this first. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, in the later games, I get really infuriated when the game, uh, when I can't, when I'm not locked on, and I'm like, damn it, I forgot to lock on. <laughs> but nope, you have to deal with that non-stop in this one. Bunch of nonsense. Oh, my nose is burning. Why? Very spicy cheese. Oh. Most people do not like this type of cheese, which is lucky for me. Because, More for you, I guess. Yeah, because it means no one ever asks me for it. Press the big red shiny button. With a big question mark, like, this is, are you sure you want to do this? This is an obvious trap, and if that planet blows up, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to laugh regardless. Oh no, now I have to go back and put under pressure. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I'm going to die. <laughs> My dirt will You'll be fine. Honestly, if you need to, just run past everything. You'll get there in no time. Or you can just whack everything, because whacking is the easiest option. No, I can't. I can't. No? Okay. I can't run past this. I can run past this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, it's easy if you run past everything. Oh, yeah. And there's no experience points in this game, so it's not like it fucking matters. Right. I don't know why we blew up the ship. Oh, there is bolts, I guess. Bolts, I guess we blew up the ship. Rit, this one broke a little bit, but it's still good. It's the last one in the pack, anyway. Uh, F in the chat for our ship, buddy. <laughs> yeah. How many ships has Ratchet destroyed over the course of the series? Oh, this is why we need to pick this up. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> Planet real cool. Well, we got a new destination, and it looks like we cleared this one out pretty thoroughly. Yeah, nothing really did it good. Still no, uh. God damn it. Oh my god, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> oh, there, Buzzball. The way he says it is so infuriating, yeah. I can't explain it. It's not even what he says, it's just the way he's saying it is so fucking yeah. infuriating. It's simultaneously passive and condescending at the same time. That's pretty accurate, yeah. You got it down to a science there. Alright, you want well, one more? I guess it's your turn to go to Rilgar. Oh, damn it, that means I have to actually do something. Yeah, it looks right. like we're pretty much filled up the map with all the destinations. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I somehow did that again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're not anywhere near done yet, though. I know there's at least one major plot point that we haven't even, like, touched on yet. Oh, okay. And I know we still have to do the hoverboarding championship, obviously. Which oh, I don't yeah. think is... Actually, is that here? Is that what we've been telling- what we've been told about here? I don't know. Cause she was talking about a hoverboarding championship. Hmm. But it didn't sound like she was talking about it here, it sounded like... She was just mentioning it in passing. I got some great I got some great we don't even have enough for that even if we wanted to. Yeah. Alright, um... What's this? Just a place I can stand. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we can get up there. Is there a way over here I can go? Sorry, I'm also dirtling quite a bit. I don't know if I can get there. Long jump? Yeah, I can. Okay. I wasn't sure if the long jump would be enough. Yeah, you, we just need progressively more and more precision platforming as the game goes on. Which makes sense. Uh, God damn it. Oh my god! Oh, a fish eats you? 
<laughs> well, we know what happens when you fall in water now. Uh, I'm guessing you don't want me to yeah. turn you get the controller back on. I, I just beat an entire level, but like you can... Yeah, I, uh... That was mostly just because I did the same dumb... What? Okay, don't release that button. Good to know. I was trying to... Those fucking crates that they put at the end of those jumps are a fucking... Uh, what do you call it? Huh. It's, a, it's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. Because every time I go to do them, smash them, I end up killing myself in the water. Yeah. So Ratchet can swim, he just gets eaten by a fish if he spends too long in the water. And by too long, we mean like five seconds. Yeah. Um, or no, it was less than that. It was like three seconds. This is what we needed this for. Uh, yes. The water temple. Ah, uh, yes, the thirsty boy. Oh, right, we gotta use the special Oh, uh, it looks like. put it here. Fun fact this is how they make the Sony water. Cool, I actually can swim. I just can't swim in water that's out in the open. Yeah, because of the fish. Yeah. Oh, I'm moving through this level pretty quick, actually. Not having too much trouble here. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I even It's literally it's just a weapon that's a game for the next one. Yeah. Set one up. They needed a oh. section of that space station. Oh, okay. Ha! Alright, I'm here. That was a joke. Rise harder. Press the X button harder to rise more quickly. They're referencing the fact that players think that if they really aggressively do it, it's gonna be more it's gonna be better. <laughs> sort of an ingrained gamer thing. It doesn't look like I can do anything over there unless I'm crazy. No. Let me let me just do one more check just to be sure before I go walking somewhere else. Um. No, it doesn't seem. Yeah, it really does not seem like there's any way out of here. Oh wait, duh. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. I just have to raise the water up again. I lowered it in this room. I didn't have to do that. Yeah, you put it there. Yeah. I didn't actually need to do that. I thought I did in order to get to that fight, but then it taught me that I can actually die, so. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. The thirsty boy. The best gunner. One thing I do have to say about this game is that, uh, the guns kind of go back, but a lot of the gear you get, uh, actually sticks around. Through, through the games. Like, uh, I don't think you have to get the grind boots over and over again, I'm pretty sure. Like, you know how a lot of games would make you do that? Yeah, like, you would randomly lose your equipment yeah. for no reason. You do with, like, the guns, because they can't just give you really overpowered weapons right at the start. Yeah. But I think most of the... I don't think you actually need the hydrolyzer thing again anyway, but... I don't know, maybe, like, all of the guns are on boost or something. Ha! <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the explanation. I'm pretty sure it's not, because I pro I think I would have remembered that, but then again, I was a kid. Maybe I didn't even know what lease was, so... If they said that, I guess I wouldn't even remember. Maybe they just straight up don't get the next one. They probably just don't. To be honest. Yeah. Oh, we need to beat the bunk. Yes, because this water can actually drown me. I know they remade this section in the 2016 remake, and nobody liked it. Oh, uh, that's why I wonder why. Well, no, nobody liked anything about the original, uh... But I just remember seeing this one in the trailer. Those were actually two disconnected thoughts. What am, what am I doing? What's going on? I got lost. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. You have a 50-50 chance. Hopefully I don't fucking drown. I'm gonna drown. Yeah, I have to beat the water there. Alright. Well, 
Y'all know what it is. Here we go. Let's be less stupid this time. Okay, I'm just gonna sprint right for it. Yeah. Or use the wand. Maybe the wooden thing. I'll think. I'll consider it. Let me see if I can. I don't know if that'll actually help me. I guess it kind of does. Yeah, I mean, it's better than your regular one. I just gotta be careful where I use it. Yeah, you can't just throw it. Yeah. Well, that's what I get. Well, I'm probably fucked. At least I know which way I'm going right immediately yeah. this time. I don't know how they would expect me to do this more before I spin. Uh I I probably could have if I just wasn't if I didn't get fucking turned around. I'm okay, now I'm actually just fucked. It yeah, wasn't letting me up. Stuck on geometry, like... Uh my character seems to still think that the edge of the water is there. Yeah, also That's a bug. Yeah. You just got like several seconds of free arms. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but I still think I'm going to die. Unless this is the end of this part. Oh, it is. Oh, what the hell is happening? No. The game... We take those. We take those. We take those. Uh, okay, my, my, my <laughs> oxygen meter is still on the screen. Yeah, look at that shit. What is happening? Also, I can move. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to move right now. Fuck it, time. Okay! Oh, hey. I mean, you should have d died, but didn't, so we take this. The oxygen meter is still on the screen, and that's gonna bug me. <laughs> um, I'm guessing this guy's gonna yell at me, I can't see Quartz. Yep. Ride bouncer with 4,000 volts? I'm assuming this is a required thing I have to do. Yeah, Also, he says he makes six bolts an hour. Oh, sorry, I gotta actually do stuff now. I was eating cheese. Oh. Fair enough. 
Alright, um, it looks like there's still something to do on this planet over here on the side here. I still have a fucking air meter. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the cutscene did not save me from the tyranny of the air meter. <laughs> I'm gonna see if uh, this is a thing I can do over here. You break the rules, you pay the price. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Looks like I have to go to both sides of this before it lets me get that. Better not make me pay for the tax. <laughs> Good. Rit. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. I think I can still go the other way over here. So I'm gonna go see what's up. No. Sounds like a good idea. Dealt with. Oh god damn. What the fuck are you? It's like a... It's a tank fumigator. I'm pretty sure that shit was outlawed by the Geneva Conventions. <laughs> you think this world has Geneva Conventions? No, they probably don't have time for Geneva Conventions. Yeah, they very clearly don't have OSHA. <laughs> As we've already discussed. Yeah. They don't have time for OSHA, and they don't have time for no Geneva Conventions. <laughs> They'd be like, what even is a Geneva Convention? That was the wrong button. <laughs> I mean, it gave you a bowl. I would have gotten more bolts if I just walked over there, like this. I was very clearly not on a platform when I did that. Oh, uh, no. We take those. Yeah, I slid right off and then still let me jump. Oh, god damn it. Fucking get out of here. That's right, I don't pause time when I do that. Damn it. I, I take the other games for granted. <laughs> yeah. I keep dying because I just keep thinking I'm fine. Yeah, you just keep doing, oh boy. You just keep doing dumb shit that you wouldn't have done otherwise. Yeah, that I know the other games would let me get away with. And also that, because I was frozen in time again. Ugh. The fucking movement thing. Do you want to do this or do you want me to keep doing it? Uh, it depends. Do you want to keep going? Um, I want to eat cheese, but that's selfish of me. I'll just, uh, I'll just, right. I'll just beat up this guy a little bit. I feel like I'm nearly done with this planet anyway. Yeah. If this area goes on really long, I'll just switch with you. I feel like I can get through this area pretty quick if I'm not being an idiot. Then again, it was being quick in the first place that kind of got me killed, so... I'm gonna die. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fish time. I've made enough mistakes. I, did, I finally did something dumb enough to just be like, alright, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, you don't even need to. I thought you did, but that's because I missed with the first one. Just dodge one bomb. Yeah. And for a tank, that's pretty lame. Pretty second Yeah. I don't think this will work. Ah, I did! Just... That was way safer than my approach. I mean, you're not... Right. I really like that. I was trying to do the MLG Pro uh, Mario speedrun tactics. Yep. <laughs> Fucking long jumping everything. Not what you should be doing. I feel like the guns in this particular game are really kind of poorly designed. I mean, kind of. Um, it's not, like, so bad that they're useless, but it's like, where in most games I forget that the wrench is an option, in this game I primarily use the wrench. 
Yeah, I think that was kind of the point for the wrench to be your default thing. The guns are like optional a little bit. But that's not what the later games are like, and I don't think that's what they intended. No, clearly not. Because like, who uses the taunt? There's actually something equally as stupid as the taunter in the later games that's actually really good. <laughs> like, it's stupid in concept, but it's actually way more useful. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay, so it is neat that it tricks them into not using their range Yeah, it attack. forces them to melee you. Yeah. And then you just beat them up. That's actually not a terrible weapon. Yeah, that's actually... <laughs> yeah. Especially since it has no ammo. If it had ammo, that would be like plus the big suck. Yeah. Oh, you can just fight these guys. Yeah. Yeah. That was close. Gotta be worried about the backs. Yeah. These tank controls are gonna be the death of you. <laughs> they will be exclusively the death of you. Jeez, I look down for one second and you're surrounded by your flamethrower guys. Don't die, please. Look at the health, please. Don't die right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it really sucks if we had to do this stuff again. Yeah, that would be... Especially since I already did it like three times because I'm an idiot. That would be pretty awful. Look at that pillar of fucking explosive hit grains. <laughs> Is there nowhere else to go over here? What are you trying to do? I, I was hoping it would give me a destination when I got close. Oh, when you get on it, it gives you a destination. Oh. Before you press it. I think. I'm pretty sure it's a two-way, anyways. And downtown. Oh, I don't yeah. think we've been to downtown. No, I don't think we have. Depends on how you define downtown, I guess. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely a new area. Quite a bit of enemies. Uh, looks like a pretty nice place. <laughs> They're all fighting each other, dude. Did you see that? Yeah. Nice environmental storytelling. You just walked into a fucking gang war. I guess that's why they call it downtown. Like downtown Detroit. <laughs> well, I think this is where you buy the best weapon in the game. Not in here. It's you gotta talk to a special guy. Fuck off, Scaly. <laughs> There's a guy, I think, creeping around here. Who oh. sells the best oh. weapon in the game. <laughs> you pieces of shit. You almost had Classic. Yep, there he is. I think that's the guy. Once you kill all these guys, make sure to go talk to him. You won't be able to get it, I assure you. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's like the BFG. Okay. Yeah. It's called the Rhino in this game. Uh... uh I'll, I'll, I'll let the guy explain the rest. <laughs> In the later games, it plays really... fucking uh, the 1812 Overture. Oh. Okay. Not in this one, but in the I later. I can't one. see my enemies. They all kind of chilled over there anyway. I guess I can just cut these guys. 
find a robot. Robot. Treat. Treat you. Okay, okay, Ratchet. I get it. I'm sorry. He's not for sale. Sorry. He's not for sale. What's a rhino? What's a rhino anyway? Rip ya. What did you just say to me? Uh, I. Y. N. O. Rip ya. Rip ya. New one. New one. Why? 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 150,000. Yeah, 150,000 volts for the Ryan. Yep. Well, I guess it's something to save up to. Guys. Yeah, if you want to. I never got it in any of the games, which is a shame, because it's the best weapon in the games. And this is actually the easiest game to get it in. <laughs> the other ones all require you to get some stupid collectibles. Oof. I've got one now. It would be a shame if I were to get ganked right now. <laughs> Cut directly to wherever it is that you inevitably get ganked. There's clearly something moving over there and you can't see it because it's out of frame. Yeah, if something died. That was the gank moment. You just like... Uh... Like a Final Destination thing there. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, nope. <laughs> Not this time, my friend. Alright, yeah. This is the fucking end. Agreed. You are very dead. You have one health, and it looks like there's gonna be a Coliseum fight. Oh, there's some health over there, though. Okay, at least they don't throw me straight to the wolves. Uh, there's that other thing. Yeah, they'll probably have to do something with that later. Hopefully it's optional. Because <laughs> I hate to have to find all these damn things. Yeah. This is like secretly a collector bond game. Kind of. But like... Without the collecting. Okay, this is moving my camera for me. It doesn't want you to do that, I don't think. Yeah, well we're gonna do this anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. Love of Doom, I choose you! Oh my god. Doom bots! Go! Okay, good, we're still, we're still working. Right. I gotta remember to check that, because it has been several hours. We're still moving. Alright, looks like the horde has been figured out sufficiently. Good. Well, update not sufficiently. Not sufficiently! <laughs> you can just whack those guys. Those guys aren't that much of a threat. Okay, never mind. You were saying? Oh yeah, I forgot you only have like four health in this game. When they split, one of them spawns right behind you. There's health in the corner though. You're gonna need because it looks like there's a bunch more about the gank here. Yeah, let's see. We've got, yeah, we've got a bunch of dudes. Flamethrower dudes, looks like. Those are the annoying ones. Do so you yeah, have any more gloves? Just, yeah. Let's just spawn all the. Oh, yeah, put them, near the, uh, put them near the fences so that as soon as they walk out, they. Oh, they come to you anyway. Ooh. There's still some left. Well, I guess that just happened. I'm back at one health again. But, you're still alive, so... Not the worst situation it could be. <laughs> Fuck. I am very dead. 
Wait, was that something behind you? Look to your left. No, nope. it was something else. Um, you still got Glove of, Glove of Doom ammo. Spawn one, and then open the door. Michael Bay, huh? Oh <laughs> god. That's a valid strategy. <laughs> For sure. Ooh, it almost blew me up. Man. Oh boy. It makes us funny noise. Sounds like it's saying down. Half of this in order to get through, but in order to get that golden bolt, you, you gotta to do go the other half. All the shit. Exactly. Yeah, we're not doing that. It's fine. I choose life. <laughs> Are you willing to die for a few dollars? Isn't that like the whole point of this? Mm hmm. Not close enough. Gotta hit just the sweet spot. Yeah, where you don't die. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't trust traits anymore, do you? Yeah, they're gonna be holding explosives. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> oh my god, this area is so long. Didn't I just like, say, dude, like, oh, I think this is almost over? Nope. <laughs> no. You gave it to me just when it was starting to heat up. Sorry. Hey, there's no way you could have. Oh, it looks like we. It looks like it actually is almost over now, though. You need a hoverboard to race. Ooh. Okay. So uh, I guess we're coming back here, baby. Yeah. Well, we got a new planet to go to. And I think we have to find Skid McMarks to get us over here. Yeah, that must be how we go. Oh, Fair enough. Hopefully we opened a shortcut back here. Yeah, is there anything else that can help you? Not help. <laughs> I hate these controls very much. <laughs> Ah, that looks like the way to where I was, I think. Oh, and also there's a cab, so you can easily... Now well, I want to know where the cab is. I think it just leads back. Yeah, yeah. To your ship. Yeah. And that's where we'll go once we inevitably get fucked anyway. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this goes back here. To um, Mr. Gormless is a uh, piece of shit trade. You want roughly? Sure. I'll take that if you want. All right. We're yeah. probably going to be going to the next planet immediately, anyway. Yeah. You didn't see any other ways we could go? Not really. Okay. I don't think we got any new gear in order to open up anything new. 
we got uh, an info bot from Quark, so we actually have a new planet. Oh, yeah. However, I think we're supposed to go to Spid McMark. Well, maybe not yet. I don't know. Yeah, if I was like a 10 year old kid, I'd be so goddamn confused trying to complete this Oh, yeah, this game is pretty confusing. Like, it works because we're doing this all in like one session. Yeah. If we had to like remember shit from week to week, goddamn. I, just, I was trying to remember how much that was. Too much. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we didn't get any new gear, but we got an info bot, and we got the ability to enter the tournament once we get back here. Mm-hmm. Um, Umbers. Survive Quark's gun. Oh, that's how they're spelling Quark? Yeah, fuck Quark. Yeah. How do you- how was it spelled? I didn't say. You spelled it Q-W-R-E. Oh. That is. Not the scientific spelling. Yeah, it's usually Q-U-A-R-K, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, it has come to late enough time that it makes sense I ask. Uh, how long are you staying? Um, well, it's 11.37, and I only wanted to play until, like, 12. Okay, and that's fair enough. I don't think we... I don't think we can beat the game in half an hour. No, I mean this level. I think we can get this done. This level done in half an hour. Alright, and I'm it's, going to stay. As far as I'm aware, there's not a lot of stupid bullshit um, in this one where you have to backtrack and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's just a gauntlet. Alright. I forgot. I finally did the thing that I said I was going to do and forgot to equip with swing. swing. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen. At least it doesn't set you back health. What? Well, I mean, okay. Speed running strikes. Okay, I don't know what this thing's deal is. If you bring me back here, you Do fucking bitch. Again. You fucking bitch. Do it again. Uh. Okay, this obviously I need to destroy it before I go near. Alright, you can't throw things while flipping in this one. Which is unfortunate because that's my entire playstyle. Oh. <laughs> is throw things while flipping. That's how you play pretty much all the other games other than this one. I, I, like I said, I don't know about two or three, I don't remember those ones very well. But at least by, by the time you get to deadlock, that's like the whole thing. That's what you do. That's, that's it, that's the game. Yeah. Those shits are just mines. Mine? 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 Oh, jeez. Well, I guess. That is not what I was expecting them to do. What is going on over there? Is that her? Yeah. So I guess I gotta treat it like a. Oh, fuck. I forgot that the jump controls are stupid in this one. Treat it like a jump rope, is what I was gonna say. Before I got distracted by getting hit. Okay, this one I'm pretty sure. I'm supposed to run past it, but I'm pretty sure I can just. Uh... Once you get revealed, then Clark was just a frog the whole time. <laughs> Where's my... what a bomb. Here we go. That didn't work. I wasn't close enough. I still don't know. Fuck. This is very bad. I had you get like a centimeter away. Yeah. Well, you know what I should be doing? The blaster. I'm, yeah, I know. I'm being an idiot. Where's the blaster? I heard it. 
Oh right, it's not R1 in this game. Fuck you for changing the controls. Not having changeable controls in your first game. How dare you? Ah! Welcome to die. I am the only inhabitant of die. I hate this fucking level. <laughs> God damn it! I thought this was gonna be easier. Okay, well this time I'm just gonna use the blaster and that'll make that section easier at least. Uh, blaster icon looks different in this game than any of the other ones, so I keep not being able to find it. I'm pretty sure you can auto block if you get close enough. Um, yeah, but do I want to get close enough? Okay, yeah, I guess it's not that big a deal. So this is just the run and gun. Fuck. I shouldn't have tried to be cool there. I should have learned my lesson earlier. But you know me, never learning my lesson. Okay. That was that was pretty bullshit. Cool <laughs> That's also because uh, I couldn't hover, which I was gonna do to tire that out. Okay. Unlike everything else I've done tonight. What? What? I even I'm. I didn't even move! Fuck you, man. Also, there appears to be no health packs during this entire area. Except up there. You could probably snag it from all the way over there. Shoot it down. I might, but... That didn't lock on it. It almost caused, my, it caused me to die. There we go. That's what I want to die. Okay, let's just do this. Health, thank god. Oh, what is this? The suspense, it's killing me. There's a lot of things killing me, and the suspense is not one of them. Okay. I'm actually running low on ammo because I keep using this blaster. Well, I mean, you need it. How are you going to win without this? That's why I'm saying. Yeah, but that's really finicky. Um. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this, but it didn't work anyway. But you know what? It gave me a lot of time. Or did it? Seems like it went off. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Fuck! Whoa, now that's a jump scare. That! Actually felt pretty badass, to be honest. <laughs> When I realized it last second, and just managed to do it. Okay, 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 okay. I had no time to think about that. He, well, he put that there, so... Don't blame me. Fuck, 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 it turned oh, around. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta pay more attention to where it ends. I think it ends there, yeah. This area is safe, as long as I don't walk off the ledge. Just jab one of these boxes. I'm just gonna play this one safe. <laughs> Let's not forget to put the switch shot. Let's not take any risks by jumping off the ledge. Okay. Let's be real careful about what we're doing here. This looks like a door, but I can't go in it. Looks like a door, but it ain't. No, you ain't! If 
outside a door. No, you ain't. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that the things that I just activated opened the door. Yeah. That looks about right. I don't know if uh, I had to do this. I probably didn't. Which is gonna upset me because I'm gonna end up dying like an idiot. And... Oh, yeah, see, it was a gold bolt. Okay. That wasn't even that hard to get to, though. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. For a gold bolt, anyway. Unnecessary challenge. The gold bolt in that city, I had to clear like 25 more enemies. Yeah. This one doesn't seem to have any enemies, just turrets. Mm -hmm. Which I guess makes sense since it's an obstacle course set up by Quark. Yeah, and you wouldn't just have dudes ready for you to get hurt. Yeah. Just. In order to be a hero, you're gonna have to beat up these 40 mercenaries I hired to kill you. <laughs> like, no, I don't think you would do that. Okay. Fuck, I couldn't, I couldn't hover, I, I almost panicked there. Up, 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 up. I mean, at least you did it. Yeah, I took a little bit of damage, but you know what, it's fine. I don't even know what this was to activate. I don't know if I had to do it, what the hell it was. I just saw that it existed, so I felt like I needed to. Let's do that. Fuck you first. Let's see what's over here. Oh, I think this is the way back. Oh wait, what's what? Are, where am I? I'm yeah, this is this is the way back. What's going on? Okay, this is the way back. It's fine. And I'm at full health again, so I'm doing okay. Perfect. Now I just need to deal with a bunch of blasters. Yes. I don't know why that didn't work, but you know what? It's fine. Okay. That was some bullshit. The, the, the... Wow. The blaster does not lock onto what is nearest to me. It just locks onto what you're facing most closely. Yeah, even if that, even if, like, the two things are really close to being the same distance from me, but, I mean, really close to being the same, uh, in my aim, but one of them is, like, kind of in my face and more important, mm -hmm. the game does not take that into account. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb. Oh well. It's an old game. I mean, you gotta take the good with the bad, I suppose. What is this, Snake Eater? Uh, uh Hydra. You gotta get the Thirsty Boy. Oh, yes, Thirsty Boy. Um. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. Uh, maybe I'm shoot, maybe, maybe I just killed the fish. Shoot him down now. Hey. Yeah, and then I should be able to put the water back and swim. Yeah. Right? That Makes seems about right. I just needed to get rid of him. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, oh fuck. Maybe I was not supposed to put the water back. Maybe I was supposed to take advantage of this and just kill them all. Look who's high and dry now. Me, apparently. Nice. Hopefully I'm almost done with this because this took longer than I thought it would. It looks like those sharks are all washed up. Oh god. Manual aim is, that would be nice. No, yes, but it sucks. Um, I don't want to use the blast because I only have 35 right. shots left, but it seems like I have to. Assuming there's no more sharks. 
Yeah, you know, hiding around the corner or some shit. Ready to do, like... I would not put it past this game <laughs> at this point. Um, yeah, let's do this. This is more thinking than I thought this level was going to involve. Yeah. What just happened? I thought... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You can just walk up and nail it. Yeah, that one's on dry land. I still don't trust it enough to melee it, but... Yeah. I thought they were just going to lie down and like get him. But no, they're moving towards you. No, I meant the one that was on the ground. That one pretty much was lying down, but I still was afraid if I got close, he might attack me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, 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 wouldn't be put, I wouldn't put it past this game. Okay. This seems pretty safe, right? Now we can do this shit. Yeah. Bigger sharkies. Yeah, honestly. Okay, um Was that all just to get one? I think I might have missed something. Oh yeah, this had to be up so that I could uh, do this. Okay. I needed to put it back up so I could swim through. Yeah. That's a neat design, I guess. Alright, yeah. It's a decently designed puzzle. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't trust it. Maybe I to like... I needed to lower that so I could do this, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. Otherwise, you would have been gone. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Now you need to quench the thirst. Oh, I should have killed those things first. There's things in there. I gotta get rid of those. As long as they're relatively close, I can use the manual aim bomb to get them. Yeah. It's the ones that are over there that I'm going to have trouble with. Yeah, you, you can probably just fall down. Yeah. And then, like, make them. Yeah. But the wrench pushes them back, so that helps. Yeah. And then, obviously, they need to refill this again. Alright, Quark, I'm almost done with your fucking... At least I, I think I am. Almost done with your fucking, uh... Uh... Gauntlet. Yep. Ah, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Yes. So that I can use the high jump. Oh. At least I can get faster over there by doing this. You know, with all of the sort of long jump shenanigans, I'm sure a speed run of this game was going to look pretty epic. Yeah, it probably does look pretty cool. I should, maybe I should look that up later. Let me just make sure that's still recording. You have work tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, in the morning though? Or just at night? Um, it's from 2 to 11. Oh, okay. So it's only at night. Or evenings, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I... I don't trust anything in this game anymore! <laughs> yeah, I unfortunately work second shift. So... Yeah, well... Oh, hey! This appears to be the end of the, the thing. Okay. Okay. Good, we can leave off on this tonight. Listen to Listen your, to your little, little friend, little friend Ratchet. Ratchet. Your, destiny your destiny is mere steps, steps away. away. It's just it's something just doesn't, doesn't seem right. This is it. This is it. Quark is going to stop Jeb and Drake. 
Thank you, Thank you Clay. You've been, You've been most, most helpful. I was right. Yep. Yeah. You called it like during the level that reveals it. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, I think this guy's just a bullet sponge. I think I can just hit him. I don't have to worry about anything. Oh Jesus! I mean, it wasn't like something that wasn't being forged. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> There's plenty of ammo around here, though. Let's switch to blaster. Is that even working? No, I think there's... Look, there's a little sliver taken out. I think I might be dealing damage really, really slowly. It's fine, I can go over here and get health back. Ow. Oh. Alright, um... You got your health back. I mean, okay, what am I supposed to do here? That's the question. Is there, um, like, a trick that you need to figure out? Maybe. The main issue is I can't... Oh, well, I guess I can just do this. That'll take some of this health off. Quite a bit, in fact, it seems. Uh-oh. What the hell? Oh, this is weird. But, you know, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, the thing is, I just gotta get pretty close to- Oh! I tricked him into destroying the bridge. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, I was just running away from him, but... I mean, who we take it? Yeah. Also, there's more blast here. Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's just move away from that before I do anything else. It's only 75, which isn't great, but you know what? It's something. I can still put 75 bullets in. Okay, I'm gonna back up so that I can have some time to look at my equipment. I'm gonna switch to a bomb glove, because I think I might still be able to deal some easy damage with this. Yeah, I saw some pixels coming up. Fuck. Okay, let's get away from that. Right, we need to get him to trip over another bridge. Hopefully he follows me all the way to this one. Don't forget about your oxygen. He's still there? Yeah. It just doesn't go away, does it? Yeah, look, it's still there. Once it spawns, it doesn't go away. Oh. Um. I think. I think that's just all it is. Oh god. That thing always gives me a heart attack every time, because the, the, the line itself doesn't actually deal any damage, but I keep thinking it's going to. Yep. Ask for it now. <laughs> I was gonna be nice to you and use only bombs, but you've asked for it now. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking use Love of Doom on him. Six 
the boys. This is what you get for taking my ammo. Uh oh, uh oh. Um. I need him to come this way. It's fine, he'll just. He has to go over the bridge to get here. Let's see if there's only half. Oh, that just straight up killed him. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess it makes sense that the lava does eat some of his health. Yeah. Alright, cool. I think we did it. That wasn't too bad. No, no. Oof. Looks like we might be going well, that's where we're going next. Elsewhere, board supreme executive chairman Rex. It's saving, so after this cutscene, we're done. Yeah. You're talking to me. I'm not a I'm not a I'm talking to myself, to myself you buffoon. Did you get, Did rid, you of get rid of that? Yes. Yes. No. No. That's where we're gonna leave off. I guess that's a uh, emotional moment to leave off on. Yeah, we're in the part of the game where uh, the heroes obligatorily hate each other. Yeah. Um, it happens in most games, but it actually doesn't feel all that forced in this one. Yeah, because Ratchet kind of just got roped into this adventure. Yeah, it actually makes a lot of sense in this narrative. Because what did Ratchet want to do? Like. Nothing. Yeah. The only things he wanted to do were stuff like join the hoverboarding championship, yeah. and... Like, what what got him off the planet in the and first And he didn't place? do shit. What got him off the, like, first planet in the first place? Clank. <laughs> That's the well, answer. He, well, no, he wanted to get off, but we don't... I don't I think he just wanted to not be on that shithole planet. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind oh, of. Oh yeah, um, that was it. That yeah. was it. That's all it was. Yeah, it's pr it is kind of uh, Ratchet's 
thing that that planet is kind of a shithole. <laughs> Alright, so, thanks for watching. Alright. Uh, this has been a long one. How many hours did we spend on this? I think it was like four. Yeah, 346, so. Yeah, close. pretty close. Pretty close to four. Alright, thank you for coming, cool. Jacob. Uh, yeah, I had fun. Uh, uh thank the is, audience for watching. This has been Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, this has been Ratchet and Clank. Uh, most of the first game. <laughs> Uh, and we'll finish it next time. Uh, yeah, we might have to cut the uh, next stream short if we don't have much content. Yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'll... We can go straight into the second one if we have extra time next time. Alright. I don't think we will, because I think the last part of this game gets pretty dense. Okay. Um, but if we do, we can go straight into the second one and just hope that it's not terrible. But it'll be two separate videos if we do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So. So, like, so either way, you'll see us soon finishing this game. And then after that, and, starting the next and one. And then finishing on Quark's ass. <laughs> About to throw fucking hands <laughs> with Quark. <laughs> yeah, Quark's a dick. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's his character. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's also an idiot. A, just a total bumbling idiot. I mean, you didn't have to say either of those things. They're both true. <laughs> um, I like Quark, though. <laughs> Just for being funny. <laughs> I mean, he's a he's a he's a funny character. He's a character you love to hate. Yes, that's kind of the gist of it. All right, I want to shut this off officially now. All right, bye bye.